everybody. All right, I believe that we are here. Yes, we are. We are here. We are live. It is time for the 2023 NHL Entry Draft. I'm dripped out. I've got uh, my, my jersey. I got a nice shirt underneath. I got the hat. I got the watch. I got the cum photo. <laughs> I got the Hughes, the Ken Hughes photo back there. Uh, <laughs> We are here, boys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. I just realized I forgot to send out the link. I should probably do that. I, I should probably send out the link and get the draft loaded up. I shouldn't send that to Luca because he's already in the stream. Thank you, Luca, for coming by. By the way, boys. Luca, because he's already in the stream. Thank you, Luca, for coming by. By the way, boys. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. I didn't realize you guys can already hear me. I'm sorry. I, I did not mean for that to, to happen. I did not mean for that to be the case. Uh, Alright, I will actually, I don't know why I have the stream open. I will close that. There we go. I think we're good. Yes, we are. Alright, hello everybody. My name, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm Harry Rice. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, Black Hole Sun, how's it going, my guy? Thank you for coming by. I can't tell if this is the wrong chat I have, uh, open, but it's not coming through, and that sucks. But Black Hole Sun, yes, yeah, you were definitely early. I think you were here probably five, six hours ago, I think. Get ready, boys. I, I will definitely be here for the coverage, absolutely. Gabriel, how's it going? Thank you for coming by. Anton, uh, where are you guys from? I'm from uh, Canada. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm from Canada. Thank you for coming by, my good sir. Appreciate it. I might open the window because it is hot in my room, actually. Jack, Luca, how's it going? Bedard's already there. Is he on the podium? <laughs> I gotta. I should probably load up the draft. And I just realized I should have charged my phone earlier. Um, I didn't think to do that. So I probably should have charged my phone. Because I, I, I got Sportsnet Plus. Wink, wink. Uh, and yeah, so I, I, I'm, I'm going to be watching the draft, obviously. I'm going to be watching on my phone. Uh, I'm hoping this is... Okay, never mind. We're not going to be watching coverage. We're going to be watching coverage at 7. So yeah, boys. What time does the draft start? Jack, it starts at 7 p.m. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now you guys are popping up. Hell yeah, there we go. But yeah, we are going to be starting at 7 p.m. is when the draft starts. Uh, that's when the draft starts. Uh, we'll probably, like I said, we're starting our coverage here at 6:30. Uh, Michkov or trade down if he's not there. Uh, well, I would hope ideally Michkov. But yeah, the way it looks right now is that we are hoping for Michkov. But if he's picked, we are going to trade down. There's no trading up. It seems right now it's either Michkov or trade down, like you said. Um, but yeah, and also apparently, uh, coming out like half an hour ago, there is allegedly, uh, there seems to be talks between Montreal and Chicago about Joel Edmondson. Uh, it seems like, if I understood the tweet correctly, it was in French, so someone can help me out here. Uh, the tweet said something along the lines of, of Montreal and Chicago are talking about Joel Edmondson. It seems to be, uh, it seems to be likely that we are get it, gonna trade him for a second and a third, which, please, please do that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm praying to the goddamn Kent Hughes picture. If Columbus picks Will Smith, we're all gonna laugh, right? Absolutely, Faggio. Absolutely. Like, I'm gonna be hyped. I'm gonna be yelling. I'm warning you guys now, I will probably be yelling, uh, on, on stream. Because it likely means that Michkov is available. But boys, with 24 minutes before the stream, we will have, um, yeah, we will have, uh, we will have someone... Oh my god. Okay, boys. So we have news coming in right now, but I'm going to call someone real quick. I'm going to call someone real quick. Yeah, hopefully he answers. If he does, he'll come on stream. If not, we'll talk about this ourselves. But I'm going to call somebody. Hopefully he's here. Hello, is this Hello. who I called? <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, you're here. All right, let's go. Luca, how's it yeah, going, my good sir? I'm all right. I'm getting pretty anxious with all of the bracket stuff, but <laughs> I, I get that 100%. Guys, say hello to Luca in the chat. He is Luca C. I know him as uh, my Atlanta Thrashers GM. <laughs> Dvorak getting traded tonight? I hope, Jack. I doubt it, but I, I hope. Uh, now, Luca, you posted something in DMs that I think we should talk about, and I don't know if you want to reveal it since you sent it or if you want to hand it to me. It's um, all completely up um, to you. I'll read this out from Michael Gallagher. I don't know who he is, but I just saw this. Um, from those I've talked to and trust, the consensus seems that Nashville has offered Montreal number 15, number 24, and Yaroslav Askarov, and it's still not enough for Montreal to trade number five. Yeah, <laughs> that seems to be the case. Thank you, Luca, for that, by the way. Um, 
I'm shocked that 1524 and a scare off might not be. I'm assuming it'll come down to the wire. Like if Michkov's not there, we might circle back. But I don't know. Like I, I'm very surprised. I don't know if we want to trade back into the still keep in the top ten. I don't know. I would honestly have been tempted to take that. If I was Kent Hughes, I would be really tempted to take that. Jack's saying he would do that in a heartbeat. I probably would too. I think we have to go Michkov. You have to think if we're rejecting that, we have to at least be looking at Matvey Michkov. I would completely agree. I saw from Cervelli about an hour ago, around like just about six, he just said whether Montreal trades it or keeps it is it's going to come right down to the wire. Just yeah. probably as soon as San Jose makes their pick, Montreal will probably have their decision made. Mm. But I'm a, I'm also I'm assuming that Michkov is. A target because I don't see why you'd reject that if you don't want Michkov. Exactly, like, like if you didn't want Michkov, you probably view everyone else in the draft as okay, good top six guys. You can still probably get a top six guy at fifteen, if not twenty four. You have to think it's either Michkov or we're really, really high on somebody. Well, I really think it's Michkov. So, Bedard Fantilli, I think that's still one and two. Yes. I think Columbus is really high in Will Smith. And I think Carlson, and I think San Jose is high in Carlson. So that leaves Mich- Mishkov. Dude, I this is all hyping us up just for fucking Mishkov to get picked at third. But holy no, if shit! He, if he go, he will. I think third is the one place he wouldn't go. I think there's a slight chance of Anaheim. There's a tiny, tiny chance of San Jose. But I think it's two, two or five. Probably, I, 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 I would think like Anaheim does seem like a good fit, but I obviously. Montreal fan. I'm sure you guys on the stream could tell if you weren't or if you're new here. I'm sure you could tell. Uh, but <laughs> I should have worn the Hawks hat again, actually, because they're picking first. I don't. I'm fuck it. Uh, the draft. I'm a fan. <laughs> this isn't time for analytical bullshit for me. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I would love him. I I, it, I would be fine with him going to Anaheim, but obviously I would love Mitch Kov at number five. Uh, Lucas, hi hi we hi hi Lucas hi Cat. How's it going? Uh, Jack would do the trade in a heartbeat. Lucas, yeah, Price is there. Uh, if you guys haven't heard uh, on Twitter, it's coming out. Price is on the draft podium for the Canadians, so it seems like he's either going to announce the pick or probably just going to be on stage, maybe give the guy the jersey, whoever we pick. Uh, maybe we go Michael Harbaugh because Price is there. Oh, <laughs> that's Hughes, that's a joke. No, Hughes, don't do that, please. Tomorrow, maybe. But please. I like how I have this. Dude, yeah, Lucas, if he announces it, that would be... That would be the greatest thing ever. Michkov or Wright for sure, Jack. Absolutely. If Michkov, some, Michkov doesn't fall to Washington, it's either Arizona or Philly that take him, I think. Lucas, uh, Lucas, what do you think? What do I think about which? About about uh, uh, Michkov going to Washington. Michkov going to Washington? I, I, I'm going to use my favorite thing I like to use as a report. 32 <laughs> thoughts. I believe that... <laughs> What I, what I heard there the other day was that if he goes to Washington, he will be in the league sooner than if he went anywhere else, and I totally agree with it. Really? Well, because it's, it'll get political. Ovechkin will get involved, and everyone will get their way. That's what I believe. That is, yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh shit! Per Ian Mendez, senior writer of the Atlantic, Luca, saw. you're gonna you're gonna want to listen. I just saw... Yeah, Pierre Dorian just spoke with us in Nashville. He says, right now, they are not close to a Debrinket trade. They have not granted Debrink... Oh, Debrinket camp the chance to talk contract with another team yet. Once they're close to a deal, that'll happen, but they're not there yet. So, yeah. Either he's pulling our legs and he's got something planned for the draft, or, yeah, they're really not prepared. <laughs> I think they're prepared. I think they're asking either... I think they're probably asking way too much. They have to be, especially not, with the season not, he just had. Like, not, not, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's frustrating. It's frustrating because you need him gone before before July first. Because if you still have to bring it there, and let's say, oh, you're not going to get a trade, and you're going to have to pay the qualifying offer, that takes out a lot of your cap. Exactly, which is need... which is what you could use to improve the team. Obviously. Exactly. So. Uh, Luca, really... Luca, by the way, before you continue, uh, Lucas says that you're hot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry, continue. <laughs> but yeah, I think I originally thought the deadline for a trade was today, but since yesterday, Dorian said that 
he's not anticipating of trading up for a first. I'd say you just need you need him gone by Saturday. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would agree with you. Yeah, and then the other thing I want to point out, I'm I'm paraphrasing here. It's not the exact quote. I just want to point out yesterday in Pierre Dorian's presser, he said he felt this year was the right year to not have a first round pick. So um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I question Pierre sometimes. Ah. Uh, in an interview with TVA Sports, per uh, Renault Lavoie, Kent Hughes keeps the suspense and does not want to say whether or not he will trade the fifth overall pick. God damn, I Kent love you. Like Why do you do this to me? Kent does kind of seem like a big beauty, though. He, he is, yeah, he is. I fucking... I love this dude. I love I love that I have him in the back now. I really... This is me praying to him that we get met the Michkov. <laughs> uh, Kat, do you think we make a couple big trades again like last year's draft? I think the Alex Newhook trade was probably the big trade uh, like we did, um, like we did last year. It was pro- that was probably the big trade. Like I said, like I said, uh, on the top of the hour, there was probably, um, there was, there was, uh, there was talk that Chicago might be wanting Joel Edmondson for a second and a third. Luca, I got to give credit to you. You sent that tweet in the gen- uh, in general chat, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know how, how true it is. Cause it, the same person also reported that San Jose and Ottawa were talking about fourth overall for Dabrinkit, and that's ridiculous. So yeah, <laughs> I mean we'll see. I hope that's legit. Obviously, I want to get rid of Edmondson. Uh, we'll see. Uh, right now, I'm gonna say that's just something that is out there. I'm not gonna say if it's true or not, obviously, but uh, that seems to be a rumor right now. Uh, this is Christmas in, in June. I agree. Black hole sun, or sorry, block hole sun, I should say. Uh, Luca, what the fuck happened to Quentin Musty from Faggio? In terms of what like i mean he went from a first he was a pretty underwhelming first overall pick in terms of oh like first overall ohl pick when you think of guys like misa who came on the scene was ridiculous but i don't know musty was i don't really know because all of his most of his years were the covid years and for he's in the eastern conference and i watch all the western conference games so for covid years east teams didn't even come to london so i have not seen him play at all Mm. But I think he's still going to go in the first round. Like Yeah, I mean, like, per my NHL draft, which I believe that site uses uh, the general rankings of all the scouts, I think. Uh, Luke, you can correct me on that in a second. But right now, they have Musty at 20. So I I could see him maybe falling to, like, the late 20s, but I don't, I don't see him falling out of the first round right now. I've seen a lot of um, Musty to the Rangers mocks. Yeah. Uh, like they, like currently my NHL draft has him going to Seattle. I could see him going to the Rangers. I think that would actually be a good fit for him. But the Rangers can't develop. That, that is true. Surprisingly, that is one place I actually could see him getting developed, even if they fuck it up. I, I think Musty does develop. Oh no, Faggio, it's raining for you if the power cuts out. Oh no. Oh, apparently per block hole sun, Vancouver and Philly are working a trade allegedly. Vancouver's looking to move up. Oh. Um, trying to see if there's anything I've... I've seen Calgary has some interest in Travis Sanheim. Um, wow. I feel it could be something like 16 and like switching <laughs> picks is what I saw. Um, per the NHL, Luca, do you want to know who the number one goaltender prospect is? Uh, Guyan? Carson Bjarnason. Oh, that's some Canada bias right there. Yeah. Michael Harville is at number two, but, like, still. Yeah. Oh, my I'm God. Also... Oh. Drager on Sports is... Center says that Toronto is approaching the Ryan Reeves camp. Yeah, apparently they're also talking to Austin Watson, so they're oh, going God. to go for grit mode this offseason. All right, I'm, t- I'm ready for a first-round exit again. Yeah, I'm also. Oh seeing... my God, Adam Fantilli's oh. suit is the best thing about him. <laughs> it's not something else. There's no shortage of, of folks here that think the Ducks will pick Leo Carlson. So that would be, be interesting. Tough. Uh, Cat, I don't know if we really overpaid for Newhook. I think it's actually better than the Doc trade when it was made, because Doc had not panned out to the level that Newhook has. Mm-hmm. Newhook's just kind of stalled right now. Like he's still good, but he's just. He had stalled at that 30-point mark. Uh, so I'd actually argue we technically overpaid more for Doc than Newhook. Oh, but... Harry. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Kevin no. Weeks, rumblings from the NHL draft. I'm also hearing there's a chance Brad's top goaltending prospect on the move, perhaps to Canadians, question mark. No! No! Please, I just saw it. No, Kevin, please, no! Kevin, no. Rene Lavoie. Current? Oh. Current? Rene Lavoie tweets out the second Kevin Weeks does. Currently, there is no indication that the Canadians will trade their first round pick. It's highly likely Montreal keeps the fifth overall. Obviously, everything can change in one call. Yeah, it was literally like he tweeted that like 20 seconds after Kevin Weeks did. Mm. A cap friendly is live at uh, the draft, apparently. <laughs> this should be interesting. Uh, <laughs> yes, it should be. Uh, Black Hole Sun, 100, 101 odds, 101 to 1 odds that Vancouver drafts the goaltender. They should. <laughs> they probably should. Bedard is in the building. Definitely, obviously, Cat. Canucks fans are so annoying. How about the fucking Bedardo pull a Lindros? Dude, yeah, I agree. Like, I think a lot of Canucks fans are, are kind of get... They kind of get that, that reputation for how they are on Twitter. For how the fans on Twitter are. But, yeah, no. There's a lot of Canucks fans that, like, no. Come on. Lindros wasn't even from fucking Philly. <laughs> I don't think. I mean, there's also, like... You want to shit on Canucks fans, but, like, every... Every fan base is bad on Twitter. Exactly, exactly. Every fan base has those bad moments, just like every fan base has their good moments. Like, it's... Yeah. You, you talk to an actual... Like, you talk to 100 fans of each fan base. Yeah, there's probably going to be one that's the worst, but most of them are probably going to be fairly normal or at least pretty pretty nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fajo, I don't know if this is a reliable source, so don't name the source, of course. But someone said the Habs and Flyers are quote-unquote talking, apparently. Uh, Black Hole Sun's putting lol probably at the Iskarov thing. Flyers are talking to Arizona also, apparently. Maybe they're trying to move up from 22. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I, no, I just thought, Just that I fucking... From... Just that fucking... Oh, that's fun. Well, no, I'm reading my son's Twitter. Pierre Dorian said there's a deal to be made for pending UFA Travis Hamnick. So, yay, he's focused on Hamnick and not trading the... Oh, <laughs> what a W... Let JVD play. <laughs> yeah, JVD. Or JBD, not JVD. What the fuck am I yeah. saying? James Van Bedard Knockers. Yeah. Or, wait, whatever the yeah. fuck his name is. <laughs> oh, fuck. Guys, we're having fun so far. We're having fun, I hope. Uh, why does Bedard look so pissed? I don't know, Cat. I don't have the... I don't have a stream open right now. Let me see if I can get on Hockey Loaded Up. Because if I can and it, the stream still runs fine, uh, then we're going to be good. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Wait. All right. Right now, it seems... Oh, no. Oh, no, Luca. I'm scared. It, it's not... Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, oh no. Sends communications. Oh. Catch, send GM Pierre Dorian when he gets on TSN 1200 after 7. So he's going to be on a radio show during the draft. Wow, so he's not doing anything then. Yeah, so I have to wait for the rinket news. <laughs> Either he's not doing anything, or when he does, it's going to be like, oh, sorry, guys, I'll be back. What the fuck is he not at the draft table? Yeah. Exactly. What the fuck? <laughs> I just realized that. Why is he not at the... What? <laughs> what um. the fucking... Oh, uh, all right, so... so... <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so look, uh, real quick. My NHL draft Wait. has Matt Dumichkov at number eight. Mm. And they have Ryan Leonard at number five. Okay. What, is there a possibility that, that, Matt, that Ryan Leonard... Where do you see... Does Ryan Leonard fall? Like, how far do you see him falling, maybe? Okay, if the Habs take Michkov, I think Philly will take him. Yep. So. Right. Answers your question. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that was very simple. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Low key, if we're like real quick, I want to mention like a guy I think could fall, not hard, but I think could fall. Nate Danielson. Yeah, I could. See, I could also see Kristoff falling. Uh, Kristoff. Oh yeah, I could see him falling. Yeah, like he's listed at twenty seven. I could honestly see him going to the forties. I don't know why. Like, I really like Andrew Crystal, and I think he's going to be a great guy. But he strikes me as like the Jan Meshack of this type of draft, where it's like he falls and a good team gets him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Because I saw like from the like out of all the scouting reports, like he's like a late first, and then one one uh, 
scouting <laughs> report has him at like 68. So, damn. But <laughs> Sporty in the chat says, "Bold of you to assume Bedard goes number one." <laughs> Thank you, Sporty. Flames want Danielson. Oh no, black hole. Oh no, that would be really funny. Uh, Dvorsky is going a few picks earlier than projected. On the thing that I have from on hockey, he has. Uh, he's projected, who is it, Dvorsky? He's projected at number seven. So if he goes earlier, I don't want Montreal to grab him. I, he's <laughs> one I have no, no, no like, kind of radar on. Yeah. No, I'm, I think, like, maybe Washington, maybe. Like, <laughs> if they trade, if they tra- well, you trade Kuznetsov, Backstrom's getting old, I guess. Yeah. But, I not. think that could work. I'm not laughing at you, by the way. I'm laughing at the Blackhawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tweeted, tap, tap, is this thing on? God, I, I love that. I love when teams do that. It's just stupid, but I just it's I, I like that type of stuff. The Habs finally tweeted out that they're at the draft. Uh Sporty, I'd let you win. The issue is that like I'm gonna be kicking you guys out when the draft starts. I can I can head out for Sporty. Well no 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 no, it's fine. I just, I just gotta Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize it would just kick you out of the DM and we'd have to call again. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I apologize. But yeah, no. Uh, Sporty, I, I, I'm I calling you on Discord now with Luca. <laughs> Lucas, of course, I turn on ESPN and they're talking about the Lakers cap situation. Naturally. Uh, maybe Flyers are trading up from 7 continuing they're ta- considering they're talking to Montreal and Arizona. So who the fuck are they going with? That is true, Black Hole. Flames never have a first round pick, so they... So they're probably drafting in round two. Are you that afraid of spoilers that you're kicking us out instead of us all having a group reaction? I am. I Okay, okay. I'll keep you guys for one through four. But for Montreal's pick, I'm going to either deafen or I'm going to leave the call. Because I do you not understand want... They're, you understand they're going to trade it, right? No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> Rene Lavoie says they're, they're not head. trading the pick, so they're not trading the pick. <laughs> I've had this idea in my head. No, Sporty, I don't like when you have ideas. No, I know. (laughs) I'm thinking it is going to be a big package with Nashville. (laughs) I'm not laughing at the idea of Nashville. Just like, fucking, I'm big package. The big package? Yeah, I'm laughing at the big package. (laughs) That involves Aroslav Askarov. Yes. Multiple picks. 15 and 24. Yep, to go for 15, 24, Askarov, and something else for five. (laughs) Jack Jack Newell has a big package. Alive is in here. Let's go. Um, well, given that the Canadians already rejected uh, a scare off fifteen and twenty four, I think it was twenty four. Uh, I don't know where I, what I what they would have to add because they apparently said they were not impressed by the offer or something like that. All right, enjoy Colby Barlow. No, I don't want fuck you, sporty. We are not picking Colby fucking Barlow. I we're not picking Colby Barlow, guys. I'm warning you. If we pick Colby Barlow, I'm screaming on the stream. I gotta show my titties, cause that was revealed. <laughs> what was it last stream or uh, the stream before sports? Yesterday. Yesterday, I said that I would show my titties if we pick Colby Barlow at number five. I specified at number five. If it's at number <sighs> six, ain't happening. Yeah, if, if it's if we trade down and pick Colby Barlow, I don't gotta show my titties. It's only if we pick him at number five. Um, if it's at number six, I will love the pick. <laughs> no, I mean depends on what we get. If it's like two firsts and something else, to go from six to five, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if the fucking Predators are offering two firsts with a franchise goaltender. Then fuck Ken Hughes for saying no. No, I'm fine with that because we can get uh, Thomas Milik in the sixth in the third round. Later. Okay, right now, um, right now my stream is buffering. Or at least the one I'm trying to watch on my phone. I have two streams up. I have one on my phone, and I have one on the computer. Mark W., how's it going? I'm going to be the only one watching on ESPN. No, I got to watch on ESPN, unfortunately. I think I'm going to head out, but I will read one more thing from my senators, from oh, Chris yeah. Johnson. This appears in time. There's nothing close on the trade front for Debrink. It doesn't mean it won't happen, but it certainly seems like the possibility is going out the window for it to happen tonight. He's oh. getting a fourth. He's getting a fourth. Hey, Mark W, let's go. Cat is watching on Hulu. Kevin Weeks. Oh, no. 
I don't know if you read this. I'm also hearing there's a chance Predators top goalie prospects could be on the movie a trade, perhaps. We 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 did off. read that. We we read that okay. when it came out. We read that ten minutes All right, ago. Gonna... Alright, thank you, Luca, for coming by. Guys, say bye to Luca in the chat. Say he's really sexy. Not gay, but <laughs> no legit. Later. Uh, legit, thank Later, you. Ho. <laughs> Later. Right, see you. See <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for coming by, man. Thank uh, you too. Can you say hi? Hi, Mark W. Hi, Mark. How's it going? Uh, later, dude. Hey, let's go, Black. Oh, hi, Mark. Thank you. Oh, oh, hi, Mark. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's up, Harry? Hey, Gabriel. You'll be coming in and out of the stream during the draft? No problem, my good sir. Don't worry. Oh, Harry. Uh, what first, is your reaction? Firstly, 40, sorry, just a second. I, I got two more comments and I'm caught up. Barlow's a future 50 goal captain. Deepest draft ever. It could be the deepest draft ever. I agree. What's up, Sporty? What are your thoughts on Madonna being found unresponsive? Mad Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Madonna was found unresponsive and was rushed to the ICU several days ago at due to a serious bacterial infection. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you know what? I hope the best for Madonna. I know she's like 40,000 years old now, but like, fuck, I hope the best for her. Evan Adams and Donna Granato are on the, <laughs> have been at the Sabres draft table, and Adams have been taking phone calls. Oh shit! Alive hey, coming in up. with the coming in with the comment of the night so far. Sporty always got the most random shit in his pocket. Oh, uh, easily. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Zach Benson is dressed for Nashville. Uh, all right, boys. It's seven o'clock. I've got the draft up here on my phone. Yep. Yep. It ju it just turned. Up. Oh my God! There's Manka. What? Why is, why is my stream buffering? What the fuck? First thing I saw was fucking Manko when I looked up. I can't see. Is it Bedard signing things? No, it, it was Manko taking a picture. Ew. Oh my god, I see her. Oh my god, it's Manko. What the fuck? Why is she wearing a Giroud jersey? Okay, okay, so we're here. All right, I've got my both streams up. Oh, God. Guys, put in the chat who you think is going number one. Uh, as if it's not obvious already. <laughs> By the oh, way, sure enough. What's up? Yep, they're showing that whole Bedard. Why are they showing Lemieux? Wait, what? Sporty, I hope you know. I'm like 20 seconds behind you. I know. And yet you're still spoiling. Wait. Okay, I think my okay. I think this stream is yeah. Okay, this stream is okay. Yeah, this stream is a lot more ahead. I can't hear it, but uh, sorry, boys. You guys are gonna hear this for a second. Yeah, sorry. Leo Carlson. Leo Carlson. I'll be honest, sporty. What I was gonna do? I was gonna listen to this on the computer. I wasn't expecting to have guests. I was gonna listen to this on the computer and mute the desktop on OBS. Ah. Uh. Tingus Pingus first overall. I agree, alive. Uh, yeah, boys. Sp I hope you guys appreciate the way. That this shit is set up, because I was up until like 5.30, getting the 32 picks like this, uh, getting the top 64 prospects ready, because I wanted to at least have their names. <laughs> so you guys better appreciate this shit, please. Mad Mike, I'm doing great. How are you, my How are you, my good sir? Hope you guys hey, shout out to Sabres. Oh, shit. Can you guys hear this, by the way? Can you guys hear my phone? Why does Bedard look so much like Patty Kane? Dude, he kind of does. What is your name? My, don't Mark, my name is Harry Rice. Uh, Harry Rice first overall. Thank you, Cat. Draft hype indeed. Uh, alive. Just got. Just trying just to get like, my look, new... when, look when they're zooming in. Oh my know. god, yeah. Dude, that is Patrick motherfucker Kane. looks like a goddamn who. <laughs> uh, Mad Mike, I, I hope you're able to get your Twitter stabilized, my guy. Okay, fuck it. I'm turning the one off on my phone. I'm not gonna. Actually, you know what? No, what I'm gonna do is I don't care. I'm going to load up my Wi-Fi. I don't care if it slows down this stream. I'm at 360p. All right, I'm actually going to hop off this too. Oh, and just let you react oh, because okay. I kind of want to hear it for myself instead of having headphones on. All right, then I'm going to I'm going to watch with with the stream on my desktop then. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right, chat. All right, sporty. Thank you very much. When the Oh. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, when when the Habs trade the pick, I'm expecting Yay, to see... got his family cop! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so that was sporty. 
Say goodbye to him in chat because he's never coming on the stream ever again. Uh, can you guys hear? Okay, good. You guys can't hear the speakers. Um, I know he does look like Patty Kane. Yes, he does, Cat. Uh, the one I had for 10 years. Oh, shit, Mad Mike. I remember you saying that in the chat. I do remember you saying that. Hey, Mark C, man. Thank you for coming by, my good sir. appreciate that. So we are... Fuck. Rip, Sporty will be missed. Yes, he will alive. Sporty saying fuck. This can only be good things. Certainly upwards of 50%. J Ken Hughes said on the percentage of them keeping the fifth overall pick, it was certainly upwards of 50%. So... Oh, shit. This is good. All right, guys. Um, okay, so so Eric Engels on Twitter tweets out a minute ago, there's lots of chatter on the Habs pick being available. Kent Hughes. Some trolls took my tweets the wrong way and decided to get me kicked off the platform, but are number one overall. Exactly, Mad Mike. Uh, damn, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's upwards of 50% they hold. They don't have a decision to make until they see who goes in the top four. Get your popcorn ready. So, boys, um, I'm incredibly scared. I'm in, I'm incredibly scared. And, God, I don't know who we're going to pick. I can only hope it's Matvey Michkov. I don't know what they're doing here in Nashville. They're showing, like, movie clips or something. Did you hear Philly trying to sip, sip, ship, trying to ship Sandheim? No, I did not, Faggio. That is... Interesting. I'm actually going to mute the uh, the stream right here. Yeah, so there we go. Um, so yeah, guys. I am really... Oh, I just realized I'm still in Discord. I'm still in the Discord call. Why am I there? There we go. But yeah. Um, but yeah, guys. So we are... <laughs> we are here. It's time for the draft. We're four minutes past the hour. I really wish I had a donation sound set up to where it would be like... I'm, uh, sorry, I live in Sherbrooke, Quebec, and I love the Phoenix... Uh, the Arizona Coyotes, I'm always uh, I'm always going to watch them. I love the Montreal pick Joshua. Hell yeah, Mark W. Mark W, man, Joshua is going to be an absolute beauty. He's going to be an incredible, incredible, incredible NHL uh, NHL player, and I cannot wait uh, to see how he pans out, boys. That's going to be really, really fun uh, to check it out, man. That's going to be really, really fun. But yeah, guys, so uh, we've got the stuff. We've got Buff Bagwell. No, we do not have Buff Bagwell on the stream. Just imagine, guys. Like, oh, here to join me on the stream, former uh, WCW wrestler Buff Bagwell. <laughs> that would be the most random thing, but damn it, that'd be really funny. No, but we're, uh, like I said, we're here. We're just waiting for them to start, really. Oh, they got George LaRock at the draft. Uh, the Oilers uh, posted a picture of LaRock with, uh, with Bedard. That's pretty sick. Uh, I'm on Twitter right now, boys, because I'm just looking for, um, I'm just looking for, like, news to report to you guys, like, oh, suddenly talks have heated up with Dabrinki, you know, I'm looking for stuff like that, basically. Did Bufflin go number five, or did he go number ten in the draft? He had some real big highlight, real, uh, hi highlight hits in Winnipeg. Yes, he did. I don't know, Cat. LaRock, I think, was probably best with, uh, probably the Oilers. I thought he actually played well there. Uh, Buffland was a number 245 pick in 2003, the eighth round by the Blackhawks. That's insane. Um, his eight year extension hasn't even kicked in and they're trying to ship him with a first, but no one's biting. Jeez. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why no one's biting. Um, now to figure out how to get under cap in the sim league while still building the youngest team league. That is true, man, Mike. I mean... Uh, that's, that's fair. Black Hole Sun, yes, congratulations to the Golden Knights. I might hate them, and I might think they had the easiest route to a cup, but a Stanley Cup is a Stanley Cup, man. Could it be the eight-year extension? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. I would pick Hunter Bedard, because bro, he's just gonna snipe everything that could have hopped. Exactly, who the hell is gonna stop him? I don't know. Uh, Connor Bedard should be the number one pick. There's a reason I already have him as number one. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. What I wish I could do, guys, I wish I could have either, like, the stream slightly on in the background or just have, like, music in the back, but I'm playing the stream here. Actually, technically, if I had, like, st um, stock music, if I had, like, cur not courtesy-free music, uh, royalty-free music, yeah, exactly. I was so mad when I lost the because Boston won the cup. Mark, I get that, absolutely. I, I would have probably bet on the Bruins as well, and I would have been mad, too. Yeah, okay, so they're highlighting Patrick Kane's draft right now. So, uh, 16 years after the fact. Dude, Blockhole Sun, the NHL 08 soundtrack, man, that is... 
for, uh, hopefully better than 07s, because I'm playing a lot of 07 right now. God, I really hope that, that, I really hope that, um, <laughs> I really hope that that soundtrack is a lot better, because I know that's got, uh, Santa Gold, I think Misery Business is on that one, too. It's got some really, really good songs in 08. Cat, but that's not falling to five. He's not falling below number two, if somehow. Bruce Harper, Harry, do you think the Habs are going to trade the pick? The pick... Oh, shit, I think we're here. Gary Bettman's kicking off the draft, boys. Mark, I'm sorry, when's the draft going to start? It's starting right now, boys. It's starting right now. Gary Bettman is here. Uh, but when's the draft going to start? It's starting right now. I don't think the Habs are picking the, the are trading the pick. Oh, it's a stream still playing on my... What the fuck? Why is it still playing? Okay, there we go. Boo! Buckle son, Gary's got trades to announce. Yes, he does. Absolutely. Yeah, they're booing him. Boo! They don't know whether to boo Batman or cheer David Poyle. I love it. I love it. They don't know whether to boo or cheer. Jets pick him on a Danielson, Jaeger, or Barlow, and I'm good. Hell yeah, Faggio. He gets a cheap pop for Bridgestone, naturally. <laughs> yes, people are watching. Oh, apparently it's the upper deck draft now, so. Oh my god, day two starts at 11. I forgot, it's just 7 o'clock right now before. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're here expecting to hear the audio or see the actual draft, you will not. You're going to get my reactions, and I'm going to basically reiterate what's going on. So basically... So basically, Bettman's just talking about how Nashville got the awards and now they're getting the draft. Two major events in four years. Nashville's hosted a previous draft and an all-star game, a stadium series, and uh, well, I don't know about hosting a cup finals, but yeah, debatable. They were in a cup finals. Um, but yeah, every team's there. I see the Canadians' table. Hey, don't worry about it, Mark. Don't worry about it, my guy. I got a major league game to catch a plan against the Marlins. Hell yeah, Mark. Let's go. Thank you for coming by, my good sir. Appreciate it. Hope to see you in the future, my 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 guy. Hell yeah. Thank you for coming by. And now he's 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 uh, praising David Poyle for all the work that he's done with Nashville with the Predators and getting them to the finals and all that stuff. So yeah. Uh. So yeah. There we go. Uh, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting stuff ready, boys. We're nearing the first overall pick. We're nearing there. <laughs> and this is his final draft. Thank you, Harry. Keep us updated. No problem, Black Hole Sun. Believe me, I will. Tell us the details. I will. Or tell me the details. Uh, David Poyle has got a Predators themed tie on. He's got a button. I have no TV. No problem, Black Hole. Okay. Fajo, I'm watching on uh, ESPN right now. I might switch to Sportsnet, but it's on ESPN right now. So they're 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 um they're honoring David Poyle, I think. Okay, so they're, they're bringing out Roman Yossi, I think it is, and Pecorine. They're going to honor David Poyle with a guitar, uh, an electric guitar. It's blue. It actually looks pretty nice. I'm going to grab a drink. Hey, no problem, Black Hole Sun. I got to get used to calling you Black Hole Sun. Unless you prefer Black Hole Sun, which, yeah. It is a, it is a Gibson guitar that they're giving him. I don't get why we're doing this here. You should have done this during the award show. Um, David Poyle, they're they're basically just saying it got canceled. Shit, I really wanted to go, but now can't. It's really pouring. Oh shit, Mark, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is Roman Yossi and Pecorine. Um, yeah, Poyle saying a little something now. We, we really can't get to the draft right now. 
We, we really got to spend 10 minutes on this. <laughs> really? A uh, bit of a slippery UFA. Yeah, Dennis Malgin for the Avs is going to be a free agent. Um, David Pagnota from three minutes ago. What is your favorite team, Montreal? Because it looks like it. Yes, Mark. My favorite team is indeed the Montreal Canadiens. Absolutely. Exactly, Fajio. Bro, I don't care about the Predators. Just get to the picks already. Uh, but coming up from David Pagnota three minutes ago, contract talks between the Leafs and... Austin Matthews are going to continue. There is no deal. It is not close. Matthews does love Toronto, and he wants to win. That much is clear. His next deal will be three, four, or five years max, it seems, right now. Hey, let's go, Mark W. That's a great, great choice right there. The awards are for the players drafted for the future and the GMs. Ex exactly. Exactly, Mad Mike. Like, meh. <laughs> I don't get it. You can call me Black Hole since the zero represents zero. Ah, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Black Hole. Thank you, Black Hole. I appreciate that, man. Toronto and win. They really don't. They don't. Bedman's calling on the booze. He's saying they can do better than that. Where do you live? I'm guess. Uh, no, I live in Quebec. I don't want to say exactly where, but I, uh, I, I, I'm not, unfortunately not in Montreal. I'm, uh, I am in Quebec, but, uh, I'm elsewhere. And they're booing the, they're booing that the Blackhawks have the first overall pick. And here we go, boys. Chicago is officially on the clock. First overall, we got five minutes to spend. Oh, my God. What is this graphic? I might switch to... Never mind. I can't. Okay, fuck it. I'll try, I'll try the E-player right here. Can you guys hear this, by the way? Okay, good. You guys cannot. Um, okay, I think I'm sticking with uh, ESPN shit. No, don't worry about it. Mark, you... Uh, oh, you put the... Oh, I didn't even see you put the I. I thought you put the L the first time. No, 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 no problem, man. Everybody must spell shit from time to time. No need to worry, man. So, yeah. Obviously, the number one consensus is Connor Bedard. Um, I'll be incredibly surprised if they take more than a minute. I don't know if they're going to... Okay, sorry. It's three minutes for the first round picks, I think. Earlier this year, I went to Cuba. Hey, Mark. Hell yeah, man. I'm happy to hear that, man. I used to know a friend when I went to elementary school. She used to go to Cuba. I think it was every summer. So, that's why the honored Poyle here. He was a long time in it. I know, man, Mike. But, like, still, it's like... You couldn't have done that at, like, the awards or something like that. Harry, do you feel... Bruce, I answered this earlier, but no, I don't think that we're going to trade uh, the pick. It seems like there's a there's a possibility. Ken Hughes did say that the chance is uh, is higher than 50%, then uh, it, it's higher than 50% that we're keeping the pick, but obviously anything can happen, so we'll see. Oh, from Ken and Briak, boys. Sources tell me Chicago is going to select Connor Bedard. We'll see if that's true. <laughs> we will see yeah okay there we go so it's a minute and a half that's how much it takes hey bruce don't worry about it man don't don't apologize man don't apologize just letting you know that i did answer it earlier but uh hey no problem i hope we keep the pick two for sure man mark my least favorite team oh my god there's someone just screaming it's not like a like a screamer but like it was just some random girl screaming uh i don't think we should keep the pick the best defenseman actually bruce i think we're good enough on defensemen Predators are interested in Mitch Cap a whole lot. They're trying to trade with San Jose at four? Bro, I hope San Jose looks at the package that we were offered and says, hey, no, you want to get the pick higher? Give us way more. Uh, B Dard. Yes, sir. By the way, guys, I do want to say right away, uh, please no pick spoiling in the chat. You can make predictions, obviously, but please no uh, spoiling the picks or anything, especially when it comes to the Canadians. Please leave that up to, to that. A, hey, Mark W. Let's go, man. 27 years old, play AAA. Holy shit, Mark. Look a nice man. Hell yeah. Nice. That's nice. But Mark, my least favorite team, uh, probably, I don't know, probably the Blue Jackets, just because they're so mediocre that I don't really have a nice opinion on them. It's just, meh. Uh, the dude from that Twitter video who had to name all the NHLers is up. Harry, I feel, I mean, Bruce, I don't know if necessarily, like, I don't necessarily, um, I don't know if I would say, oh, here we go. The first pick. Yep. Connor Bernard. There we go, baby. The pick is official. Connor Bernard is going to the Blackhawks. It is made official. Connor Bernard. Uh, I will mark him off of my list, actually. That's actually a good way I'm going to be able to do this. Connor, yes, sir. Bernard is not ready to go to Chirac, I don't think. To go to Chirac, I agree. Everyone knew that was coming. If you didn't, you don't play hockey. Exactly, Mark. Yeah, like, like I don't know. We had to make sure. Had to make sure somehow that was going to happen. You know, you never really know. 
Uh, Black Hole Sun, I, if it's lag, it might be on your end. I'd refresh the stream. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, it seems like, uh, yeah, my wife's doing laundry. It's killing the Wi-Fi. Oh, no. Black Hole, tell your wife to stop doing the laundry, then. <laughs> tell, her to, tell her to stop doing the laundry. <laughs> There we go. Yes, everybody's tweeting out. Yep, the Blackhawks pick Connor Bedard. The easiest pick imaginable. I'm very surprised they don't like immediately put the next team up on the clock. But, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Uh, my wife is cutting out early. Uh, no problem, Mark. Oh, there we go, boys. There we go. Sorry, guys. We're back. Now we got really bad Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. So, yeah. I don't know if the stream is going to... Bedard is up. He did put on the Blackhawks jersey. Um, he did put on the jersey. Officially a Blackhawks. Um, yeah. Alright, so, set overall, I think is... Okay, yeah, we're losing frames again. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I wish... I Is there a way that I can just, right now... No, I can't lower the bitrate. Shit. Okay, I would lower the bitrate right now, but, uh... I don't know. Worst case scenario, boys, I just end the stream and I come back up live. I don't think that's going to happen. But... Um... Okay, so... Yeah, they're seeing... Bedard's key skills are goal scoring, getting to the slot, and his puck possession. I feel like that was probably the most obvious thing that you could have had for Connor Bedard. Um... <laughs> yeah. So now we are waiting for second overall at this point. The clock has not started. I'm actually going to close my Discord. I'm going to close Discord overall because I don't think I'm going to need to use it at all for the rest of the stream. I'm going to see if that somehow helps the stream be more stable. I doubt it, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, the OBS browser is using a lot. There we go. Um, so, yeah, they're talking about Kyle Davidson. Not some, wow, ESPN got Kyle Davidson on real quick. Uh, they're talking about getting some veteran leadership in the locker room for the Blackhawks. And, uh, yeah. Oh, the pick is in almost. Okay, they're saying Seattle. Seattle now. Uh, the Ducks, as of 35 seconds ago, are on the clock. They are on the clock. Patrick Bacon ranked uh, Connor Bernard second overall. Love the love the trolling. So the Anaheim Ducks are now on the clock. Boys, this is going to be really interesting. Because, oh, wait, is it going to? Oh, <laughs> this is all you guys get to see. No, sorry, boys. I will, I hope that's proper now. Yes, it is. Ducks no cuck. Yes, I, I, yes, indeed. Cucks no, no druck. Uh, thankfully, guys, I hope the stream sounds good. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't think if it lags. I think if it, if the stream at least sounds good. Like, you guys don't really need to see me because I'm not showing the draft or anything. So, I think if the video lags, it's fine as long as the, um, as long as the, uh, as long as the audio, I think, is fine. I think then we should be good. So, we'll see. The Ducks, the second projected um overall okay well wow, apparently so 70 goals 140 points by number one overall pick Guy Lafleur, doug wickenheiser dale howard chuck mario lemieux eric lindros and now connor bedard very very interesting uh really like that there uh i really like that they're basically comparing him to three of the greatest players of all time and uh mario lemieux <laughs> no but uh no but uh, legitimately uh that's that's pretty cool number two projected is adam fantilli they're talking to Connor Bedard now. Uh, he he does look a little bit nervous. He, he funny enough he does seem a little bit nervous. And I just realized that I probably should not uh, be scrolling on Twitter because do we just OG back in time? We might have. Um, okay, there we go. So I'm caught up. There we go. Uh, we might have just went back in time. Number two projected is Adam Fantilli. Uh, Connor Bedard is basically just talking about I think his journey through juniors. Yeah, so, so Connor Bedard, they're talking about his first game is going to be in Pittsburgh against Crosby. He's all smiles. He's saying he's got to make the team. I love that. Hey, let's go, Mark. Let's go. You just got back. Hell yeah, man. That is great. Happy to hear that you just got back, my good sir. That is very, very nice. I Again, I should not be looking on Twitter because the pick... Uh, because I don't want the pick being spoiled for me. I just... I, I That probably wouldn't be the best. All right, let's see... I'm ready for second overall. I'm hoping that it uh, that it happens in the next minute because, yeah. By the way, does anybody know, guys? Does anybody know like what happens? Um, what happens when like the clock gets to zero and you're not um, 
and you're not like uh, you, you're not ready to announce the pick like what happens at that point is it just like a oh we skip past you come back when you're ready or is it like a uh hey come on you better make the pick and like you have to go up there just off the cuff or whatever because like that is that i that always found me interesting mark w big shout out to mark w thank you you're my fair youtuber i appreciate that man i'm very happy that you that you that you think i'm i'm that good that you like me that much i appreciate that so much my good sir thank you thank you very much uh the ducks the pick is in they're talking about uh pavel uh mintyakov nathan gosher uh mason mctavish jamie Drives down someone else are their last five first round picks. They're now up for second overall. We'll see who the pick is. I'm guessing Adam Fantilli. I'd be very surprised if it's anyone else. I'd be very surprised. Uh, Fantilli or Leo Carlson, because there was talk that they're high on Carlson. We'll see who it is. I really don't want it to be Michkov. This is where he might go. Please, please be Adam Fantilli. Please, Adam Fantilli. Please, Ducks. Pick Adam Fantilli. All right, the pick is in, boys. They're thanking all their fans at the draft party. No. Wow! Leo Carlson! Oh my god! The Ducks just went Leo Carlson over Adam Fantilli. Holy shit! Leo Carlson! Leo Carlson! Over Adam Fantilli. Who do I think Montreal's gonna pick this draft? I'm hoping it's Matt Michkov. No, Sporty, it's not Fantilli to the Habs. Come on, my guy. Cameron, yes, hello there, my guy. Bro. Adam Fantilli is going to Columbus, it seems like. Holy shit! Wow! Oh my god. Leo Carlson. Second overall. Boys. Why didn't the Ducks pick Tyson Hines? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Holy shit. Leo Carlson, second overall. The Blue Jackets look like they're going to get Adam Fantilli. That then leaves San Jose. Montreal needs San Jose. To be as high on Will Smith as they're as they apparently are, it needs to be Will Smith, and the Canadians have a chance at Matvey Michkov. Oh my! Sh His NHL comparable is Pierre Luc Dubois, Leo Carlson. So it looks like he's going to be a pretty consistently good seventy point defenseman or seventy point goal scorer. It seems like Leo Carlson. I can't believe that. I'm genuinely surprised by that. I was expecting Fantilli. There were rumors going in today that the Ducks were high on Leo Carlson and they really liked him. I was expecting Adam Fantilli. Like, even though I think he's going to bust out of the NHL level, I think he's going to be a good third-line guy. Leo Carlson, I was not expecting. I was not at all expecting this. Who the actual fuck is Leo Carlson? Uh, he's a European guy. He's a very good skater. Uh, 44 games. He had 10 goals, 15 assists. Big shout out ESPN for that. 25 points. Uh, I thought he had pretty he had pretty good hands. He played really, really well. Like, for real, though, I don't even care about them. That's fair, Mark. That's fair. Um, honestly, I'm surprised as well by Leo Carlton. He's the center. They now have Zegris, McTavish, and Carlson. There's no way they play all three at the center spot. I think you maybe move Zegris to the wing. Because I think he can play left wing. That suits him a lot better, I think. You have Mason McTavish and Leo Carlson probably split them one and two. That's a really, really big one there. That is a really big pick. Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a joke I want to make. I just put it in the Discord. Bro, if Fantilli falls to number four, dude, is he better than Tyson Hines? Tyson Hines can literally body check anyone he wants. Uh, well, Mark W. Mark W. probably, because for me, the NHL right now is more about, uh, it's more about goal scoring. 
Uh, and also the fact that Tyson Hines did uh, already get picked. He got picked by the Ducks two years ago in tw- 2021. Um, for me, I like yeah, the NHL is a lot more about goal scoring and... Um, sorry, yeah, it's a lot more about goal scoring and... Um, no, 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 Mark, do not worry about that. Do not worry about that at all. You can make... You can make predictions all you want. Do not worry about that at all. Blue Jackets are on the clock, by the way. Uh, they are on the clock. We are... <sighs> bro. Bro. If we... <laughs> Holy shit. It's it's still possible, guys. The dream is still alive. The dream is still alive, boys. Holy shit. Oh my god. Boys, come on, please, 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 please. Guys, you guys have no idea how excited I am that the Canadians can still pick Michkov at fifth. I know it's only second overall, but still, the more we go, the further we go, um, the more that this is going to look like the Canadians could end up picking uh, Matthew Michkov. Uh, Pat Verbeek, Ducks general manager, uh, I believe Hartford Whalers legend is, uh, is currently up. He is talking... With someone from ESPN. Uh, yeah, Patrick B. Hartford Whalers legend. Uh, ended his career with the Dallas Stars in 2002. Did get a Stanley Cup with them in 1999. Um, yeah, just... Holy shit, boys. I... Falls down all the way and the Knights pick him. Oh my lord. Oh my god, that is so crazy. Mark, yeah, that is. I already know who the Canadians are going to pick. They're picking Joshua. Uh, thank you, Mark W. Appreciate that. I'm glad we're picking someone who we already have in the system. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh Oh my god. Come on, boys, please. There's talk that Columbus is taking Will Smith. There is talk they're gonna go Will Smith. Oh my god. I already know who the Canadians are gonna pick. They're picking Joshua. Yeah, I I just read that. Sorry. Why did I read that again thinking that was a new comment? I don't know why. Oh my god, the Blue Jackets, the pick is in, boys. The pick is in. Do you sometimes go and watch Phoenix Coyotes because I do that all the time and actually get second chance? Hey, shit, nice. That's that's uh, that's really nice, uh, my, Mark. I I I personally don't because I I can't go to uh, Phoenix just because I I I do not like flying. <laughs> so yeah, I don't. All right, John Davidson is up for the Blue Jackets. Oh my God, boys! If they go Will Smith, guys, if if they go Will Smith. Jamo Kekalainen is going to make the pick. Uh, I live in Canada. Phoenix is in Arizona. That's in the U.S. Blue Jackets select. There we go. Adam Fantilli. Adam Fantilli is the pick. Adam Fantilli is going to the Blue Jackets, boys. Oh, my God. Boys, there is one more thing. There is one more thing that we need to have happen. Holy shit. Oh, to the Sherbrooke Phoenix. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, unfortunately, I don't ever go to the Sherbrooke uh, Phoenix games. I, 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 I'm, I'm not able to drive, and I don't own a car personally. Wolverine, exactly, man. Please, Kent Hughes, man. Please, Kent Hughes. Kent Hughes, please. Please, Kent. Please. We need to wait. We need one more pick to happen, boys. There is one more pick we're waiting on. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I am so fucking nervous, boys. I'm smiling here, but in here it's like, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh my god, if we can get Matvey Michkov, guys, I'm gonna fucking... If we get Matvey Michkov, A, I'm gonna scream. And B, I, d- I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, boys. We're live, we're live for an hour now. We have been live for an hour. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I... <laughs> I seriously don't know what I'm going to do. Whew. Holy shit. I, I cannot believe. I can't wait. For, please, just get San Jose up there already. Just get San Jose up there. Please. Do not go with him at number four. <laughs> please. My dad's friend actually lives in one of the players. Really cool. Oh, shit. That is really cool, man. That is really cool, Mark. Hell yeah. Thank you for letting me know, man. Holy shit. Adam Fantilli from Michigan in the NCAA. 
is the third overall pick. So boys, just to let you guys know, in order for us, when San Jose goes up, we do not want to hear, we, we do not want to hear from SKA St. Petersburg or Sochi. We do not want to hear SKA St. Petersburg or Sochi in Russia. Well, either in Russia. We do not want to hear SKA St. Petersburg or Sochi. We want to hear USA, U18, Kladno, or the, A, or the uh, AIK from Sweden. That's Those are what we want to hear. We do not want to hear Saint Peter, SK St. Petersburg or Sochi, anything like that. Fantilli's dad is crying because now his son has to go to Columbus. But <laughs> no, legitimately, he's crying. He's very proud for his son. That's that's a really nice moment. I like I like seeing that when you know the parents are there and they're really clearly proud of their kids. That's really awesome, man. Exactly, Wolverine. And again, again, guys, I'm gonna say no. Please, no spoiling San Jose's pick. If you do spoil, you will get a timeout, and if it happens a second time, you will uh, get banned. I'm warning everyone now. Please, no spoiling either. San well, no picks. Don't spoil any picks. But guys, oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm so goddamn nervous. I don't like this. Please just get San Jose up there already. They're not even on the clock. Please. Please go Will Smith. Please go Will Smith. Please. Oh my god, I'm begging. What a move from the Ducks thoughts. Uh, I think it's really good, bar down. Oh my god. Guys, I, I'm so worried. I want Magic Beach Cup. Two minutes is too long, Wolverine. Dude, it really is. I mean, it's three minutes, technically. Oh my god, please. Uh, Player with 65 points as a freshman in college. It's Paul Korea, Jack Eichel, and now Adam Fantilli. Uh, in the last 30 years. What do you mean two minutes? It's been like five? Mark, uh, well, keep in mind, it takes like two minutes for him to go up there, get the jersey on, and start like an interview. That's when they start the clock, usually. It's when like they're going off, they're saying hi to the, all the management and everything. So San Jose is on the clock right now. We're going to find out in like two, two and a half minutes, boys. We are going to find out. Oh, God, please. No, I'm begging. San Jose, please. Mike Greer. Sorry about that. That was my... Hey, no problem, Mark. Don't worry about it, my guy. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God, please. Guys, I'm, like, so nervous right now. I'm so nervous. If, if they pick Beachkov, that is good because the, the weight is relieved. But if they don't... Holy shit. Please. Please, San Jose. Will Smith, Zach Benson, Dalla Bordavorsky, David Reinbacker. Go one of those guys. Please. Mark, I'm nervous too, man. I'm so nervous. <sighs> San Jose. Please. Just pick someone other than Matvey Michkov. Please. This man is a elite general manager in the National Hockey League. Michkov is at the draft Wolverine. He... He, he did some interviews. I think he, he had an interview with a couple teams. Um, that is a thing. We don't know who Michkov talked to aside from Montreal, I think. So we don't even know if he wanted to talk to the Sharks or if he, uh, if he, if he allowed them an interview or whatever. Like, the pick is in. No! The pick is in! They're going up, boys. They're going up. The Sharks... Here's the good thing, though. Once we get past pick five, it's more than likely that's it for the Canadians. I can watch the rest of the draft, talk with you guys, be really calm. The Sharks are coming up. Cameron, yes, here we go. I'm going full screen, boys. Oh, my God. The Sharks, It's they've been talking, apparently, about Will Smith, Zach Benson, Dalibor Dvorsky, and Matthew Michkov. We're going to see, boys. I'm putting the earbuds in. I'm putting both earbuds in. Please. Please. Not Matthew Michkov. Anyone but him. Leave him for Montreal. Please, please, please. Okay, Ben was up. I thought he was announcing a trade. We have a pick. Okay, the pick is in. Come on, my girl. Just get to the back, please. Stop thanking David Poyle. Come on. Who cares about the Vegas Gold Knights? Come on. Yes, the fans are watching around the world. The world, come on, please. A watch party. 
Oh, Patrick Marlowe. Yeah, Patrick Marlowe's making the pick. Patrick Marlowe's making the pick. If he picks Mitch Cup, I will hate Patrick Marlowe. I will hate Patrick Marlowe. Please, please. <laughs> it's Will Smith. They picked Will Smith. The pick is Will Smith. Boys. <laughs> Luca, I'm as nervous as I'm ever going to be. And they're playing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air theme. It's Will Smith. I've never been so excited to see Will Smith go to a podium in my life. I've never been so excited for that. Will Smith. Mitch Trump, please. Jay Hughes. This guy. Right here. This guy. Please. Please. Boys. Please. Montreal is up on the clock. Montreal is up, boys. They're playing. Yes, they are, Sporty. They're playing the Fresh Prince theme. Get Michkov to a real hockey market. Now the Canadians to go up. Who do you think? Mark, I think it's Matvey Michkov. If they don't want to go Matvey Michkov, uh, looking at who's available, I could see it being Ryan Leonard. I think Ryan Leonard. Smith just smacked. <laughs> oh, no. Smith just smacked Mike Greer. Oh, my God. Is that going to register as a hate crime? No, legitimately. That, that, that didn't happen. That's a joke, obviously. Cameron, if they don't pick Michkov, if it's Zach Benson or Trade, I'll be happy. Dude. Dude, please. And I just dropped toilet paper, I think. Ken Hughes will need three phones to get this one sorted? What? Come on, Habs. I want it to be Joshua. Mark, we already have Joshua, man. Where do you have Joshua? We picked him a couple years ago. Apparently, Will Smith's comparable to Sebastian Ajo. I like this fit for San Jose. I really like this fit. Um, oh my god. Yeah, but Darts already signed in the ZLC. Bro, Mitchkov is still there. Yeah, no problem, man. Wolverine, yes, please. Guys, no one spoil. No one spoil. Oh my god. Wolverine, yes. Ken Hughes, man. Please. There's a reason I put him behind me. Ken Hughes. He is still there. Please. Ken Hughes. Oh my god. Boys, I am so nervous now. With him being there, the stress levels are at an all-time high. Eric Engels is tweeting out, we'll need three phones. Who do you think goes, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Holy shit. I think, I don't know if the Canadians are on the clock yet, but... Holy shit. He did walk up to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. By the way, guys, I don't know. Do, like, does Will Smith... Did Will Smith ask to go up to that song? Did they just play it in Nashville? Like, I wonder what happens. Okay, Montreal's officially on the clock, boys. Montreal's on the clock. It's official. Boys, please, please. They're talking to Will Smith now. Yeah, well, okay, so Will Smith did get to choose the Fresh Prince song to come up to. He said that he, he feels like he had to. That's that's funny. That's funny, man. I like that. Oh, fuck. He's on the playground. That's where I spent most of my days. Yeah! They just had Will Smith rap the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Boys. Oh my god, he's singing the song. Yes, he is, Sporty. The draft has started. Just bought me my car. Oh my god, Mark. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking go, man. Hell yeah. Boys, oh my god, please. I'm going full screen. I can't see your chat. I can't see the chat until the pick is in, boys. I'm so nervous. I've said this so many times. I feel like a jukebox or a record player, but I'm so nervous. There was one guy... I really want with this pick. There's a few guys I'd be okay with, but there's one guy that I want. There is one player that I'm perfectly fine with drafting at fifth overall, and the guy's available. He's he's still there. My mouth is so wet, so wet, so dry. The opposite of wet. It is so dry. You know, boys, 
I after this pick, I'm gonna grab a Pepsi. I got a diet. I got a box of diet Pepsi right behind me. <sighs> oh my god, it's 50 seconds away, boys. I'm gonna flip my phone over so I don't even see if anyone's messaging in, in the servers. It's it's Meechkov, it's whoever. I'm not even gonna look at my my phone, boys. The pick is in. The pick is in. The pick is in, boys. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, they're going up, boys. Kent Hughes, that beautiful bald bastard. Jeff Gordon, I think Terry Price is there with them. Please. Boys, I'm trying to get a peek at the jersey. That's how desperate I am. They've got Carey Price. It has to be Price making the pick. It has to be Carey Price making the pick. All right, boys. It's Montreal. The pick is in. Every time I see Bettman, I keep thinking he's going to that fucking podium. And I hate it. All right, Ken Hughes. They're congratulating the Knights on the cup. And they're wishing David Poyle all the best. I think they're thanking the draft party in Montreal. Please. Carey Price. Carey Price. It's going to be pricey. Price is making the pick, boys. Please. Please. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the pick is David Reinbacker. Sporty, no! We don't need fucking David Reinbacker! We don't need another fucking defenseman! If Harris is getting traded, you pick the goddamn forward! You pick Matvey Michkov! Why the fuck do we pick David Reinbacker? Why do we go Reinbacker when when Michkov is still available? No, Bruce, I'm sorry. This is going to be a fucking terrible pick. We just passed on the second best player in the fucking draft. We just passed. Matt Mike, I don't give a fuck if it's too much of reach. I don't care. Fucking, guys, this is the fucking, we just passed on the second best player on the draft. I don't get why we won trade down, Luca. We went David Reinbacker over Matvey fucking Michkov, who's the second best player in this draft. He's going to be a 50 goal scorer. Bruce, if he wouldn't sign with us, then why would he fucking talk to us? Why would he agree to an interview with the Canadians? Why would he... Mad Mike, shut the fuck up. He's not an idiot. Come on, come the fuck on, dude. Get, gain some cock fucking common sense. The fucking... I will trust them on this. But why would we pick Reinbacker... Over fucking Matvey Michkov. Why would we do that? Why would we pick Matvey Michkov? Why wouldn't we pick Matvey fucking Michkov? 
No, Bruce, I don't apologize, man. If you think it's a good pick, you think it's a good pick. I, I, I don't agree with the pick. I do not agree with this pick. I do not agree with it whatsoever. I will, I will, I will trust the process. But this is is the first massive mistake of 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 the the, the, the Hughes Gordon tenure in Montreal. This is the first massive mistake um, of, of their tenure. Rhinebacker over fucking Matvey Michkov. Like, Bruce, again, why would he fucking agree to an interview with us? Why would he agree to an interview with us then? He said he allowed certain teams to, to interview him. There were only a handful of teams that interviewed, that wanted to interview him. That, that, were, that he allowed to, to fucking interview him. And fucking Montreal was one of them. Why would we pick Reinbacker over Michkov? Even then, if he wouldn't sign with us, you can trade him. If he somehow would not resign with us. Bruce, again, why would he agree to an interview just to tell us he doesn't want to play for us? He would just say, no, I don't want to interview. No, I don't want to interview. No, thank you very much. But I would not want to sign with the Montreal Canadiens. Why would he want an interview with us then? Why would he be fine with that? Sporty, I guess. Fucking, I guess. Why, why wouldn't it be? At least it's not fucking Colby Barlow. At, at least it's not that. I should probably, I should put the fucking pick up. <sighs> no, Bruce, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. You're, you don't worry about being. Don't worry, but you don't need to feel you were wrong, my guy. You can you can think that the pick was fine. You can like the only thing you were wrong about is that that maybe he didn't want to sign with us because like nobody really knows. Exactly, Gabriel. I mean, like then again, like skill over position, we don't need a defenseman. So maybe he is going skill over position, but just like. Holy fuck. I, I don't know how to feel about this pick. No, 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 Bruce, don't worry. I'm not upset with you, man. I'm not upset with you. I'm upset at, at Hughes and Gordon right now, man. I am completely upset with, with Hughes and Gordon right now. We... Uh, Arizona, by the way, they're on the clock. They've got a minute left on theirs. Uh, Arizona's going to make their pick. David Peck noticed tweeting it out. Worst job they've done. Exactly, Gabriel. This is... And the fact that it's the only bad thing they've done as well, Gabriel. Like, like that is that is the one thing. Is that this is the first bad decision they've made. Sporty, yeah. I was hating on Savkovsky just because I wanted Shane Wright. But here's the thing. Matvey Michkov will be a 50-goal scorer in the NHL. They, they will be. They will... He will be a 50-goal scorer in the National Hockey League. No doubt. What is Reinbacker going to do? Oh, well, he's a second pair defenseman. Big fucking deal. We have top four defensemen. Caden Gooley, Lane Hudson, Logan Mayu, Jordan Harris, Justin Barron. Okay, even if we're trading Jordan Harris, Justin Barron. Arbor Jack is going to be on that bottom pair. We have Mike Matheson, who for three to four more years should be a top four defenseman as long as he can stay healthy. I just... I, I don't get why... We want Rhinebacker here. I, I don't get it. Salty, man. Yeah, okay. Arizona's making the pick, man. All right, so... Wow. I wanted Medvey too, Gabriel. We fucking went Rhinebacker over Yaroslav Askarov? <sighs> Gabriel, yeah. Like I mean, like I guess he'll be a top four defenseman. It gives us a chance to trade Jordan Harrison. I can't be happy about this deal. I cannot be happy about this. No, Mark. We have good players, man. We have good players. It's just like... <sighs> Alright, so the Coyotes are making their pick. They're getting someone up. They've got the really nice... Man. There we go. Dimitri Simmons. Wait, what? What? W Dimitri Simashev. Okay, I'm suddenly a bit happier about Rhinebacker now. I'm suddenly a little bit happier about Rhinebacker now. Dmitry, Dmitry Simashev, Dmitry Simashev. Holy shit. Okay, so Mitkov has to be going to Philly, right? 
Matt, Matt to me, bro, I, Dimitri, bro, Dimitri Simashev. Yeah, sporty, the, the typical joke, yeah. Philly's going to Leonard. There's no way they're going to let Matt, there's no way. Mad Mike, why the fuck would the Blues pick Michkov? They don't pick talented forwards. Dmitry Shimashev was ranked 22, by the way. So there's your massive, there's your massive riser um, for this year's, oh god, sorry boys, for this year's draft. There is your massive riser. I'll say I'm sorry boys. Um, okay, let me see. How does that sound, by the way? Does that sound a little bit better for the, uh, for the mic, thank Michkov to the Caps. I say they got Mira Chichenko, so I mean Gabriel probably, but I mean like I don't, dude. That sounds way better. All right, thank you guys, thank you guys. I was having this guy up. He was the perfect chicken replacement, but a number six sporty. Could you have not picked like someone good and then picked this guy at twelve? Like there's the unless they're trading twelve, but I can't see that being. The, even he was surprised. Exactly, and the, the 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 flyers are on the clock now. The fly, <sighs> dude. <sighs> dude, <sighs> Matt. <sighs> David Reinbacher, I mean, he's he's great defensively, but it seems like he's not good offensively. So it seems we're getting basically a pile on with fifth overall. Dude, just... Gabriel, my mood just fucking switched too, man. So, like, I, I, I can't tell if we know something that other GMs don't. And there's maybe a trade. But, like... Holy shit. Um, okay, so from Patrick Bacon of Top Down Hockey, Yotes select Dmitry Simashev 6th overall. I ranked them 176th. Simashev is a hulking defenseman who split time between the KHL and the MHL this year. Unfortunately, his MHL production was mediocre. His KHL pro production was nearly non-existent. Hopefully good defense. He has a 6% chance of becoming an NHLer, judging off this past year. Wow. I Gabriel, he's basically a hawking defenseman. Basically, he's a defensive defenseman. He is basically that. That's what he is. Um, Cat, I couldn't give less of a fucking shit about how fat Reinbacker's girl's ass is. I could not give less of a shit about that. I... Uh, we picked David Reinbacher... We pick. <sighs> Matvey Michkov is still up. Matvey Michkov <sighs> is is still on the board. Harry, check the link. I Lucas, I literally just read that on stream. I just read that already, my guy. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, nah, don't worry about a cat. Don't worry about it. I get that you're trying to cheer it up. I cheer me up. I appreciate that. Just. Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking hell. Like, we couldn't have traded down? We we seriously couldn't have... <sighs> Bruce, I don't know. Like, it feels like people don't like him just because he's Russian. That seems to be the only reason people don't like him is because he's Russian. I guarantee if this kid was Finnish or Ukrainian or whatever, people would be so much more... High on this dude. So from Jer Darren Jager, 40 seconds ago, Habs hold on to the fifth overall pick. They had trade discussions over the course of the day, but Montreal Scouts were adamant they needed to hold their position. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, Leonard at 7, Matvey at 8, man. Just... Uh, 
Uh, apparently this this morning, team said Mitchkov had had like attitude issues or something. I don't know if he's gonna be that good. I don't go fuck exactly. Gabriel McKinnon had attitude issues, like. Oh, Bruce, one hundred percent. Bedard is already the best player in the National Hockey League. Um, Danny Briere is up. The pick is in for the Flyers. We really, we really couldn't have traded back to get David Reinbacker. You're pissed at Sandine? Sandine? Rasmus Sandine? No. Uh, who's Sandy at five, Luca? Dude, I want to have some hope, but just. We passed on a guaranteed 50 goal score, man. I didn't, cat. I was just. I was too stunned. I was too stunned. Oh, Sanderson. Bro, if we're getting Jake Sanderson, I'm even more pissed. <sighs> Alright, Danny Briere's coming back up to pick us in. They're making the pick. Alright. Mad Matvey Mijkov goes to the fucking Flyers. We just let the fucking dirty ass fucking Phillies. We just seriously let the fucking worst organization in the National Hockey League pick Matvey Mijkov. We really just fucking. Jesus fucking Christ. He's apparently Malkin mixed with Kaprizov. Why the fuck did we pass on him? This dude had higher points than fucking Alexander Ovechkin. They, I just remembered that because they said it on ESPN. There's some activity at the Blues table. They have 13, 25, and 29 for David Pagnota. Thank you, Nikki. I don't know if you're here. Matvey Michkov is the fucking... Gabriel, I fucking hate this draft too, man. I hate this fucking draft. Uh, Mark, our team is not bad. We've got an amazing prospect pool. Mitchkov would have just been the guy that probably pushed us over the top, man. Oh, fucking hell, man. Uh, Sporty, I mean, I don't know if you can ruin a fucking talent like Matthew Mitchkov, man. I... Jesus Christ. So so Jay Fresh, Jay Fresh is, is enlightening us. He says, uh, Matt, Michkov being better doesn't mean Reinbacker projects as just a middle pair defenseman. Some people coming through are very confident takes, surely based on extensive NLA viewings. He did very well in a pro league against men this year. Don't run the kid out of town on day one. So, I mean... Uh, Price had a Joe Biden moment. Yes, he did, Gabriel. I will say that. He did. He absolutely did. Um, um, oh. Wow, okay, so Michkov has an interpreter. He doesn't speak, like, any English then. Okay, wow. That's kind of surprising. Uh, 
No, okay, I don't think it was Price not liking the pick. I think he just didn't know how to pronounce Reinbacher. Or Reinbacher, however it's pronounced. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Bro, Madre Michkov, that should have been the fucking Canadians pick, man. And the and the Flyers are on the clock right now. The Flyer or the sorry, the Flyers, the Capitals. People on Instagram comparing a pick to when Detroit picked Cider, I mean If he ends up being more insider, I'll be incredibly happy. I just, I can't say, I can't see, I can't see David Reinbacker turning into that. I cannot see that, like, whatsoever. Uh, bro, I, bro, I've just been deflated. I was so wanting Matvey Michkov on the Montreal Canadiens. I wanted that. And, um... Amanda likes the linebacker pick. Hab slut. Does she? Um, does she? Because I... I I don't know, man. I don't know how to feel. Bro, man. I just... I... Of course, she's a Swifty. I'm talking with her over Instagram right now. Hey, well, thank you, man. Tell, uh... Tell her that, um, tell her that Harry Rice says hello. Thank you. Uh, thank you for providing Twitter with some pretty fun Habs content. If you can do that, man, Mike, I appreciate that, man. Oh, fuck. So, um, Meechkov apparently wanted to be a flyer. The pick is in for the Capitals. Um, we'll see. So we'll see who the Flyers pick. This is going to be interesting. The f I genuinely can't believe that we fucking picked Ryan Backer. I'm not going to get over that for the rest of the night. Um, I'm thinking it's Dvorsky. I think they're going to pick the center since Backstrom's coming out and they want to trade... Because Nets off. I would think it's going to be Dalibor Dvorsky is the pick. Why is everybody congratulating fucking David Poyle? Alright, who are they picking? It's Brian McLaughlin. Ryan Leonard is the pick. Okay, so Ryan Leonard goes to the, uh, goes to the Capitals. He was ranked 5th. He was projected a 5th overall pick. So the Capitals picking up a uh, really solid right wing there. So back-to-back -back right wings getting picked. That is pretty good. I like that pick, actually. That's really nice. Um, I It makes sense because... Yeah, um, I'm sorry guys, I, 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 I hate this, I hate fucking, I want to be confident, I want to be, I, I want to be excited. Alright, so the Ducks are going back to their, to their eggplant jerseys with the 30th anniversary, they're going back to the really ugly circle logo though. Ryan Leonard is the pick. I'm not happy about it. The Red Wings are on the clock. That's basically what we got to get to. Guys, if you are enjoying the stream so far, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, if you will. That'd be really appreciated. Um, yeah, that would be... Um, that would be really appreciated. Um... Jesus, yeah, man, I just... 
Jesus fucking Christ. I just, I wanted Ryan Backer, but I, um, I, I just, I, I can't believe, man. Hit that like button. Like I said, hit the sub button if you're enjoying what you're seeing so far. If you liked my reaction to the Michkov pick, or to the Michkov pick, to the Ryan Backer pick, um, yeah, boys, we've got seven likes so far. Again, hit that like button, man. Hit the sub button. If you're feeling real spicy, donate. Streamlabs and the PayPal links are in the description below, boys. Um, yeah. Um, so the Capitals, the pick is in. They're still not putting the Red Wings on the clock. That's very surprising. Um, yeah. Um, all right, now the Red Wings are on the clock. Ryan Leonard, he's got scoring. He goes to the traffic areas. He's got a complete... His compete level is very high. God, I can't... Guys, I can't even... All right, I'm so, I, I said I was going to do this a while ago. I'm going to get some... I, I'm going to grab a Diet Pepsi real quick, boys. I am... I hate this. Holy shit. All right, boys. So yeah, we are um we're here. Um, God, man. Dude, yeah, Gabriel, man. I am fucking miserable, too, man. I don't want to... I... I really don't want to watch the draft anymore. I I agree, man. I just I want to fucking get off and just sit back and just just watch basically. Like just I But like I don't know. Like I might stay on because who knows what is going to happen with like the Canadians. I don't know, man. I... Okay, so the, there's activity at the Blues table. They have picks 10, 25, and 29. David Pagnota just um, corrected himself. Yeah, a lot of Blues fans probably don't want to hear Detroit say Dalibor Dvorsky right now. So Detroit, like I said, is on the clock. We'll see. I'm going to crack open this nice Pepsi. Diet Pepsi, sorry. Uh, the pick is in for the Red Wings. We'll see which bus they pick this time. I I think it's Dvorsky. I do think that the pick is going to be Dalibor Dvorsky. I could see them maybe going a defenseman. But, like, I feel like he'd be really, really high to go Tom Willander. Um, yeah. I think it'd be really fun if the... I, I still can't believe we rejected a Skuroff and two goddamn picks. For... Fucking insane, man. Genuinely fucking insane. Here comes Stevie Zerman to the podium. Of course, Heiserman's thanking Poyle as everybody is now. Thanking the Golden Knights. Yeah. Or congratulating the Golden Knights, sorry. Thanking David Poyle. He's congratulating David Poyle and thanking the Golden Knights now. Nate Danielson! There's the bust pick. That is your big bust pick of this draft. Nate fucking Danielson? Really? Nate Danielson. N <laughs> what? Nate Danielson when Dalibor Dvorsky is available. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, boys. Just give me a second.
Uh, all right, guys. So, yeah, we are here for 10th overall. That is a Detroit pick for sure, Sporty. That is a Detroit pick. You miss out on the bigger guy and just... Oh, of course, that's no, no wonder why they fucking picked him. His, his uh, dream teammate was fucking Datsuk. Of course. That's why they picked him. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this draft, like, whatsoever, man. I'm going to be live for... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna be live for the fifth overall, for the tenth overall pick. Um, yeah, man, I I'm gonna be live for the tenth overall pick, and then I think I'm just gonna recap the top ten. I'll come back live if the Canadians do a trade, or if they dra get a well, yeah, if they do a trade to get a pick, or if there's a trade that comes out overall. Yeah, can. Excuse me, sorry. Um, the only way I'll stay live... Uh, I won't stay live, boys. I will not stay live if the Blues select... Or I will stay live if the Blues select Alibor Dvorsky. If the Blues picked Alibor Dvorsky, I will stay live for at least up until number 15. Sorry, boys. I got, I got something right now. Canucks and Sabres are talking. Really? Okay, Sporty, I'll stay live then regardless. I will I will stay live regardless then. Um Yeah, so St. Louis will see who they go. We doing something? Oh my god, Sporty, no way. Vancouver picks eleven. Sporty, are you moving up from Matvey Michkov too now? Alright, so it was alleged that the the Sabres or that the Blues were talking. But it seems right now that they might make the pick, the Blues. There was some talk about the Blues uh, trading. David Pagnota did note that they were kind of active. Um, I wonder if potentially it was with Buffalo, but the price was too high, so they went Vancouver. We'll see what's going on here. Um, I think pending the St. Louis pick, we trade up to land Zach Benson. Um... Yep, there he goes. So from David Pegno to Canucks and Sabres GMs, Alvin and Adams are having a conversation on the floor. Uh, Kat, you missed uh, Nate Danielson. All the picks you can see over here. Yeah. Um, this kind of sucks. So the Blues are on the clock for pick number 10. Just a reminder. Where is Ken Jennings when you need him for Final Jeopardy? I Yeah, sure, man, Mike. Um... Yeah, uh, God, I cannot believe that this is happening right now. Dude, the David Ryanbacker thing is going to loom over me all night. I'm going to be in a fucking pissy mood all night. I can guarantee it. Alvin's on the phone. We got a trade, boys. Boys, we're going to have a trade to announce. Harry DMs? No way. All right, Luca. I'm looking right now. I'm looking right now. Are we trading Darlene for his seventh? Sporty, that's definitely what it is. They got Nate Danielson right now. Bro, Sami Zayn is even upset. Bro, Sami Zayn is even pissed, boys. Dude just tweeted out, man, what the fuck, 30 minutes ago. Dude. Yeah, Bernard Sign is ELC, ELC, ELC on stage, man. Apparently, I can't say ELC. NZA, man. I Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's my toilet. I thought that was a goddamn cat. Jesus Christ. NZA, I wouldn't even say fuck this team, bro. We made one bad pick. Come on, man. Dude, we... Oh, my God. He actually is. Sportsnet just put it out. Bedard just signed his ELC. Bedard has officially signed his ELC. All right, boys. So, looking at the highest selected um, Australian-born players in the first round. Hold on. Oh my god. What's going on? The pick is in? I think this is the pick that's on the move. Uh, Marco Dano, Andre Burakovsky, Michael Grabner, Marco Rossi, uh, Marco Casper, and Thomas Vanek, by the way, were Austrians. Dude, NZ, I think we all wanted Michkov, man. Were they talking Demko? No way, sporty. Get ready to get rid of fucking, um, not Uka Pekalukin, and get, rid of, get ready to get rid of Devin Levi, then. The pick is in. Alright, boys, it looks like the pick is in. The blues are going up. 
I think we've got something here. I think we've got something. I think they're going to Alibor Dvorsky. We'll see. But I don't know. We'll see who they're going. All right, the blues are up. Oh, and my stream just went out. There we go. Da Dalibor Dvorsky, boys. So the Blues with the common letdown pick. The Blues still can't draft well. Uh, Dvorsky over Zach Benson. These next three minutes will be very interesting for sure, Sporty. How do we know if... Um, how do we know if... Um, it, it, do we know if it's just Bettman? Or are we going to know... Or do they... I forget. How did the Doc trade go last year? How did the dock trade go last year? Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go, Darkness. The uh, common Blues L pick. Uh, so, Dalibor Dvorsky, the next best prospect, according to my NHL draft, is now Tom Molander. So, Tom Molander, Matt Wood, Zach Benson, Gabriel Perot, Oliver Moore, all still on the board. Axel Sandin, Pelika. Uh, Batman announced it. Okay, Batman announces it. Okay, thank you. So, the team doesn't go up. Okay, we'll see then. Other teams take notes from St. Louis and other draft. No BS, no more congratulating Preds. GM, just go up there. I mean, yeah, Gabriel. But, I mean, like, then again, that is kind of, um... No, man, Mike, I'd argue they actually... Uh, I, I would not argue that. I would argue that. But, yeah. <laughs> Matthew Wood, Zach Benson, Gabriel Perot, Oliver Moore, Axel Sanding, Pelika, Brendan Yeager, uh, Quinton Musty, Colby Barlow is still there. Uh, Daniil Boot, he's not going to go for a long time. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit rejuvenated, boy, so I'm going to stay live for a little bit. I'm going to stay live at least to see this Vancouver-Buffalo trade because it seems like there's something there. Oh, God. Um, guys, I really wanted Matthew Michkov. I've said it time and time again now, but I really... Bro, man, I... God, I I really wanted Dalibor, uh, not Dvorsky. I really wanted Matthew Michkov, man. David fucking Reinbacker? Dude. We rejected Yaroslav Askarov. <sighs> she. <sighs> Boys, I, I want to be happy. I just. I have to keep reliving that moment of just proud to select David Reinbacker. I was so expecting to hear SK St. Petersburg, Dalib uh, Matvey Michkov. Um, Dvorsky apparently led Slovakia in their scoring in the 2023 Under-18 World Championship Tournament. Um, I mean, Mad Mike, I don't know. If you've been saying that, Mich that it should have been Michkov or Reinbacker, it doesn't sound like a pick that you would make then. Yeah... The Canucks are officially on the clock, boys. The Canucks are officially on the clock. Sporty, if you're still here, please, please do not spoil uh, anything. Would have been a pick I'd make in Arrow 1. I mean, potentially. The Canucks are on the clock, boys. Jeff Jeff V really wants to see them pick Zach Benson. We'll see what happens here. We'll see if it's, say, Demko for 13 for some reason. If they announce that here, we'll see. Top 10 picks born in Slovakia. Robert uh, Robert Petrovicki, Branislav Mezin, Marion Gabrick, Boris Valabek, and then just from the last uh, from last year, Slavkovsky, Simon Nemec, and now uh, Dalibor Dvorsky. So that's good. Edward Sal, I didn't even mention him, man. Now, of course, they're going to commercial, because why the fuck wouldn't they be? Um, let 
He went defenseman, David, Ryan, Ryan, Bakker over Matvey Michkov. Okay, apparently they're not going to commercial. I it maybe. I don't know. Canucks are making the pick. Uh, Sporty, I just said thank you for not. I just said no spoiling, but thank you. I mean, darkness. You're the one that brings up sim leagues, man. Seems like you miss them a lot, my guy. All right, so yeah, six of the top ten players are centers. There's Dvorsky, Michkov, Ryan Leonard, and uh, fucking the the Himishev that are not centers. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, fucking hell. Just. Okay, so Craig Button says the Canadians are getting a big competitive defender with high potential in Reinbacher. Technically, man, Mike was in the I mean, I mean, still, you didn't have to mention it, but I mean, you did. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Canucks are making the pick. Canucks are going up. I'm assuming it's going to be Zach Benson. But we will see what happens here. See, Dark and Sierra made Mad Mike feel, man. Canucks are up. Here we go. Sporty's saying, oh, so I'm excited to see what he thinks of, uh, what he thinks. We getting someone good? Really? Tom Willander. Wow, so they actually went with the defenseman, Tom Willander. All right, there we go. Tom Willander to the, uh, to the Vancouver Canucks. There we go. So Tom Willander is picked. So that means either Matthew Wood, Matthew Wood, Zach Benson, or Oliver Moore to the Sabres. Guaranteed one of those guys. We will, um, this board does look good sporty. It does. And now in pending, you guys select, uh, Caden Price. <laughs> in pending. I uh, Gabe, yeah, true. Gabe Pro too, either. True, either Gabe Pro. I don't think you'll pick Oliver Moore because you're kind of stacked at center. You do kind of need winger. <laughs> Excuse me, wingers. So my bet would be if he's still there, you go Zach Benson. Uh, maybe Matthew Wood if Benson gets picked. Uh, yeah, true. Colby Barlow too. Colby Barlow. I don't know if I see you guys picking Sandy Pelika. You think everyone is panicking and picking defensemen? No, cat. This is literally only the third defenseman picked in the draft. So no, I don't think so. Salty wings. Sabres should take like Wood. Uh, I prefer Zach Benson. I don't mind Matthew Wood. I like I like Matthew Wood. I think he's a, he's going to be a really solid top six guy. I just like Zach Benson a little bit more, and I think he would really, really compliment um, Tage Thompson a lot. If we take Wood, we're taking a, a raw Tage Thompson. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Benson to Detroit. Okay. Uh, boys, I am going to be right back. I'm going to go get something to eat real quick. I'm going to go get some bread, and I might get, um, I might get some, uh, I might get some something to drink aside from the Pepsi. I don't know what I'm gonna grab yet, but I uh but yeah I'm gonna set this up right now. I will if I can get it properly. There we go. I'll be right back boys. I will I'm gonna get something to eat, something to drink, and I'll be back down in maybe like two minutes. Uh but right now uh Willander is still up there with the Canucks. I think they're just getting down. So the coyotes do seem to be um, they do seem to be, um, they do seem to be on the clock in a minute. Like I said, boys, I'll be right back. I'm going to get something to drink, uh, something to eat, and I'll be right back.
All right, boys, we're back. Of course, we gained more viewers when we went to commercial. That's awesome. I love it. Um, yeah, so I don't need that up anymore, the BRB thing. Every year after the draft, I had to post a YouTube video showing all the talks behind the scenes I had for the draft. Very, very curious. Me too, man. Me too. Like, I wonder if they're going to show anything with Michkov, showing, like, like, them talking, like, oh, well, I mean, he doesn't have a good attitude or blah, 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 or what they're going to, like, discuss there. So I am uh, very, very interested to see, um, to see what, um, to see what they say for sure. Like, I'm assuming, because they posted after day two, right? Not like right after, you know what I mean? Like, they posted after day two, right? They show a little bit in there too, I think. But yeah, that is going to be very interesting so far. Uh, by the way, I just got some Pepsi. I kept the Pepsi down here, so yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to... I'm gonna actually I'm gonna pull this up because I'm gonna mute and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take down the webcam real quick. Uh, never mind the coyotes are coming up. The coyotes are coming up. This the they have this pick through the uh, Arizona Jacob Chicken trade or the Ottawa trade. You never know. It could be a home run. But yeah, no, Gabriel. I'd love if it was a home run, obviously. Like, I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to be right. David Reinbacker sucks. He's not going to pan out. No, I'd love if he turned into a top pair defenseman. Just, I don't know if he was the right pick. I don't think he was the right pick for the Montreal Canadiens, especially number five. So the pick is in. Arizona up here, number 12. We'll see who the pick is. Zach Benson is currently the number one ranked prospect, according to ESPN. Gabe Perot right behind him, and I think it's Matthew Wood. Axel Sandy Pelican, all for more. So the pick is in. Here we go. Daniel Boot. Um. Daniel Boot. I love Daniel Boot. But. <laughs> What is the coyote scouting? You could have traded back for this guy. You absolutely could have traded back for him. No matter well guys, okay, here's the thing boys. No matter how bad I think the Rhinebacker pick is, at least we're not the fucking coyotes. Dude, Benson and Savoy together, man. I think they want Zach Benson. I, I, I absolutely think they want Zach Benson, man. Yeah, like you said, Sporty, keep Savoy and uh, keep Savoy and Benson together, man. This is a fucking off the board pick. I love Daniel Boot. Absolutely in love with the kid. But he, he was ranked twenty third. So they picked Dmitry Himashev, uh, who was ranked twenty second. Daniel Boot was ranked 23rd. So, I, I am incredibly surprised that the pick is Daniel Boot. I, I'm very surprised. Boys, I'm going to I'm gonna mute. Uh, I'm going to turn the webcam off just for a minute. I'm going to eat. I'm going to start eating. When the Sabres are getting ready to make their pick or whatever, I will, I will come back. But means goal in French. Habs should have taken him. Yeah, sure, Darkness. All right. I'll be back, boys. And
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, the Sabres are on the clock now. We'll see who they go. Sporty's wanting Zach Benson. I think Zach Benson... Excuse me, sorry. I think Zach Benson would be uh, would be great. Zach Benson would be really nice. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, to see who the pick is. Matthew Savoy was the pick last year. Noah Ostlin, Yuri Kulik, they picked, they picked last year too. Owen Power and Isaac Rosen, which is probably their only bad pick of the last two drafts, at least in my opinion. We'll see what they do. But the Sabres are on the clock. All right, we'll see. Uh, allegedly, they might go defense here. Yeah, so... Um, so Kyle Davidson is on the phones, apparently. He's on the phones, and uh, yeah, we'll see... Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, we'll see... Um, We'll see who uh, the Sabres select, but they are going up to the podium. They will make the pick, Sporty. Uh, let me know what you think of the pick when it comes in. We'll see right now. We're going to see just exactly who the pick is. I'm excited. Let's find out. There you go. Zach Benson. Absolutely amazing pick. Mad Mike, no spoiling. I've told you guys like five times already. This is the first time it's happened, but no spoiling. So Zach Benson, that puts the uh, Penguins now on the clock. Who are they going to trade this pick to and for what? <laughs> um, no, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, I like Zach Benson. Great, great player. Sporty is probably coming right now. Damn. That was the first time I ever spoiled a pick, and I hope it's the last Mad Mike. Yeah, me too, man. I mean, granted, you said it, like, the second the pick was announced... So, like, it I technically wasn't spoiling, but just, meh. Yeah, let's go, Sporty. I'm, I'm happy you, you like the pick, man. I'm very, very happy that you like the pick, my guy. Let's go. That's awesome, man. Got your guy two years straight. Yep, Savoy, no Zach Benson. Can't wait to see how they somehow don't pan out. <laughs> no, no, no. The, those guys are going to pan out. Benson and uh, Benson and Savoy. Savoy's a center, right? Is Savoy not a center? Because I, I, I really like Zach Benson. Also, fun fact, no one's talking about how the Sabres are small. Funny enough, only the Canadians. Saying it the second was announced, that's a jinx right there. Ah, uh, not really. Not really. Um. So, yeah, here we go, boys. Um, Penguins should be on the clock in a minute. They're getting the jersey on... Uh, they're, getting the, we're getting, they're getting the jersey on Benson right now, the Sabres... Jersey, he seems very happy to be with his best friend, I think. Uh, it's not going to be deadly, Mad Mike, but it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be good chemistry between them. It's going to be pretty, 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 pretty solid. Pretty good, I think, in my opinion.
God, I, I hate this voice. Uh. So yeah, boys, so Zach Benson now off the board. He goes to the Buffalo Sabres, uh, which means technically the top prospect now is Matthew Wood left on the board. The Penguins are going to be up, I believe, after a commercial break is what we're going to be taking. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Yes, yeah, so the Penguins are officially on the clock. They're taking a quick commercial break. Um... I just, meh. <laughs> I'm struggling to I'm struggling to stay up right now, boys. I might go to 15. We'll see if somehow the Canadians make it here. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, there might be a trade. The Blackhawks were talking on the phone. We'll see with who. Maybe maybe there's some teams that they're talking with. But yeah, the Canadians. Uh, with Ryan Backer, Bedard obviously first overall. Carlson second, Fantilli third. That was a bit of a shocker. Um, well, Lander was ranked 112th by Patrick Bacon, apparently. Um, yeah. So, like usual, a, a really, really good Vancouver Canucks pick. I wonder how Clifford's feeling right now. Huh. So yeah, guys. So we are here up. The Penguins are on the clock right now. The pick is in. So they are making the pick. The Penguins up here. Here we go. We'll see who they end up picking in a minute. And now ESPN right now. Excuse me. Sorry. Is uh, talking with Connor Bedard. Oh, we got the Penguins picking. Come on. Kyle, dude, we shut the fuck up. Make your pick already. Come on, pick someone from the Sault Ste. Marie. Braden Yeager. Wow, so they went with the guy that the Flames liked. So they went with the guy that was expected to go to Calgary. Braden Yeager is the selection. Braden Yeager, who is ranked the 18th best prospect. Matthew Wood, still there. Very surprised by that. That's a center that'll be able to take uh, Crosby and... Um, that'll be able to take Crosby and Malkin into retirement. Yeah, I could see Calgary taking Barlow. Uh, yeah, so Brendan Yeager. Braden Yeager is the guy to the Penguins. He had 67 games. I think it's like 28 goals. Yeah, 28 goals, 50 assists. Uh, he, a year ago, actually, was a top five pick in this draft. At least he was expected to be. So he falls all the way to... Uh, 14, that's pretty good. 15 now, the Predators will be uh, on the clock. Yeah, so, yeah, we've got, uh, we got Brendan Yeager. Preds will be on the clock in a minute now. We'll see.
Oh, God. All right. Um, so, yeah, Nashville should be in the cup. Uh, Brandy Yeager was apparently gold medalist at the Holinka Gretzky Cup last year. God, I hate this. I... Like I said, guys, I'm going to be up for pick number 50, and then I think I'm going to head out for now. If we had picked Michkov, I'd probably be up for the whole draft. Not the whole draft, Jesus Christ. I'd, I'd be doing a 24-hour stream for the for the fucking picks, no. Um, no, but legitimately, I, I just, I can't do it. I'm going to be live for the top 15, probably. Um, maybe I'll suggest you guys somewhere else. Maybe we'll raid another streamer after this pick. Speaking of Nashville... Is officially now on the clock, by the way. So, there's that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, but Art's talking about the... Um, yeah, but Art's talking about where he's playing and all that bullshit or whatever. God, I... Just seeing everybody posting about Ryan Backer, man. That I just I hate that, man. I why the fuck would we go fucking Ryan Backer, dude? I I still can't believe we went Ryan Backer. I hate this. Did the hockey guy just go offline? Can okay, no, we still live? I don't think we're gonna go raid the hockey guy. I think we'll go raid someone with less viewers. Um. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Predators are still on the clock right now. Um, Or the Predators are on the clock. We'll see if they make the pick. If they trade it, I doubt they will. But we will see what happens. Yeah, so, uh, they have a bunch of recent transactions. Don't know why they're putting Nino Nita right there, because he is really not recent. That's back at the deadline. Um, they've got five picks in this draft, and, uh, yeah. And they're going to pick, boys. Nashville is going to pick. They've got David Poyle, Barry Trotz all going to the top of the podium. They're going to announce the pick. We will not have a trade, I don't think. David Poyle is up. David Poyle mispronounced Trashville. Matthew Wood is the pick. There we go. Matthew Wood. Matthew Wood is the pick. Low-key, I'm very, very surprised that we have not gotten a trade yet. I'm kind of surprised we have not gotten uh, a single... Uh, trade in this like today all right so Matthew Wood is the pick boys yeah, I think that's going to be it. Like I said, I might come up live a little bit later if the Canadians make a trade. I'm just going to sit back, watch the rest of the draft, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my night and be depressed over fucking David Reinbacker 
not being the pick, guys. If you guys would like, um, if you guys would like to follow with someone else for, um, yeah, sorry. If you guys would like to go follow someone else who is also live, uh, if you guys would want to do that, then you guys can go raid the one and only the hockey guy. Guys, go, go, go raid Shannon. Well, not you don't have to go raid Shannon, but just... Yeah, if you go in the chat, tell him Harry Ray sent you, I guess. This is going to be it for my stream. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank you for joining me for at least part of the first round of the draft. I doubt it, but maybe I'll go live tomorrow, talk about some of the picks. Uh, see who I think are the best gems, busts of the late rounds, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Rice. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share, which includes. Uh, but no, it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Tell me else. My name is Rice. Uh, Randy, how's it going, man? Thank you for coming by, my good sir. Uh, links in the script. Or sorry, don't forget to uh, and everything, which includes. But it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Tell me else. My name is Rice. You Puff Club. Subscribe to the Club. Tell me sub up. If you remember the D Squad, then you're going to come. So is, is much greatly appreciated. Yeah, Randy. Um... We did go Ryan Backer over Matthew Michkov, Ryan Leonard, Dalibor Dvorsky, Zach Benson. We went Ryan Backer over all these guys. There was allegedly a trade with Nashville that would have seen us grab 15 and 24 along with um, along with uh, Yaroslav Askarov, who I think is going to be a top five goalie in the National Hockey League eventually. Uh, just And that would have sent Nashville pick number five apparently it seems like. So yeah, there's um there's that. Yeah. <laughs> uh the Canucks do suck block hole son. I agree one hundred percent, man. Uh so yeah guys again that is going to do it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. How many D prospects we need? Uh all of them apparently uh apparently Randy. Uh I wanted Matt Vimichkov, I've let it be known for a year now. I want Matt Vimichkov. I'll support the Rhinebacker. I will absolutely support Rhinebacker, and I will trust the process of this beautiful bastard back here, Kent Hughes and Jeff Gordon. I will absolutely trust the process. We'll see what happens. I, I, we'll see what happens. That's all I can really say. Rhinebacker, I'd assume, plays in the AHL just because, um, just because you know he was playing with men this year overseas. Thank you, Black Hole Sun. I appreciate it, man. Stay strong. I love you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that a lot. Much, much appreciated. But yeah, so I'm hoping he plays in the AHL. I wouldn't mind if he goes back to Europe, but we'll see. Hopefully, he does play in the AHL. It'd be awesome if he plays in the NHL if he was somehow ready, but uh, we'll see. Like you said, Black Hole Sun, I will indeed trust the process. I will hope for the best with the Canadians and hope that this Mitch Koff pick doesn't come back to bite us in the ass somehow. Thank you guys again for watching. Link in the description. You know, fuck it. I'll stay alive for pick 16. The pick's in. I'll, I might as well tell you guys this pick and then we'll, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll, we'll end the stream. So the pick is in, but they're going to a Barry Trotz interview. They're talking with the Eggman. I am the Eggman. I am the Walrus. Goo, 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 goo. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so like someone on my Discord's mentioning, um, we have a ton of like trade talks. We have a ton of trade talks, and we've had zero deals. We've had the Montreal stuff. We had uh, apparently Buffalo talking with Vancouver, and uh, I forget who, but um, yeah, we've had all these trade talks and zero. Randy, I've been live for two, two and a half hours, man. I've been live for two, two and a half hours. Wolverine, I had an exam, so I didn't watch the rest of the draft, but any trades or drama happened in the draft? Uh, well, David Reinbacker went fifth overall. Matthew Michkov fell to the Flyers. Not necessarily much drama, necessarily, just more so some shock picks, mostly from Phoenix. And, um, yeah, not really any uh, trade. No trades so far, unfortunately. They're talking over the Flames pick right now. Actually, I'll go. Uh, yeah, actually, it's 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 probably better end after this pick. This is halfway through the draft. I was gonna end at fifteen.
But yeah. Um, so pick 16. Uh, we'll see who they pick. Uh, Flames. Oh, shit. Uh, Black Hole's son. I've. No. Who the fuck was the pick? Oh, oh, announcing the pick. Greg Conroy is staying. Fuck it, guys. We're, we're getting viewers. I'll stay on for a while. I'll stay for a while. Why not? I. Cat, yeah. I mean. Samuel. What? Samuel Hanzik. So he goes exactly where he was projected. That is... That is a surprising... That is a surprising pick right there. Samuel Hanzik from the Vancouver Giants to the WHL. You know, guys, you guys want me to? I'll stay for the draft. I'll stay for a little bit more of the draft, I guess. Samuel Hanzik. That is... That is kind of surprising. And this dude is apparently similar to Timo Meyer, according to the ESPN. Flames are strange, yes they are. Black hole sun. I don't get what they're going for. I I don't. I really don't get what they're going for. And we're gonna close the hockey guy stream for me. Um, yeah. All right, looking on Twitter right now. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, trades or anything that's going on. Because I would really like that. Because that, that would be nice. So the Black... Uh, the Blackhawks? No, the Red Wings are back on the clock. Uh, we'll see who they pick. It's going to be interesting. Red, yeah. Really, just really hoping that... Um, yeah, just... Um, just really, really hoping that the we can get at least one trade while I'm live. It doesn't have to be the Canadian necessarily, but just one trade would be nice. Wings Genius. Ah, Block Hosel. I don't know if I'd go that far, but they are an interesting team for sure. Definitely a very interesting, uh, very interesting team. Gotta expect Kobe Barlow here. Uh, yeah, probably. Are they going to commercial? Oh shit, I, I've had the be right back thing on screen for a long time. Actually, I'm going to be right back, boys. I'm going to mute and I'm going to eat once again because we are in commercials, so why not? I will uh, I will eat once again, boys. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. Um, oh, probably like uh, two minutes. But yeah, enjoy yourselves for now. Or not for now. I will be back in... Um, I will be back in just, uh, just a few minutes, boys. So yeah. Like I said, I'll be uh, I'll be back in a second after I finish eating. So yeah.
All right, guys, I'm back. I'm going to hide the Be Right Back thing because now I'm not on Be Right Back mode. I am here. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, by the way, Blah, Block Hole Sun. So, yeah, next up is the Red Wings. We'll see who they end up picking. We'll see what happens there. I'm hoping that it's a half-decent pick, finally. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens with this pick. We are back up live for the draft. Sorry. All right, sorry guys, we're back again. Um, we're talking about Tennessee State with their ice hockey program. Okay, they're saying the Red Wings pick when we come back. So, are, okay, apparently they're just going to... They just went to commercial again. They just went to commercial again. This is... Weird. Block hole, I don't think Bonk goes this high. Bonk on the sheet, on the, the thing that I have from my NHL draft, they have him at 26. They have him at 26, and I think here at 17 would be a little bit high to pick him. I think if you can get him around the 21, 23 range... That might be a bit better. I could see Nashville going for him at 24, actually. Um, we'll see, though. We will absolutely see who gets picked where, though. Bonk, bonk, T-O, bonk, O-T. Oh, no. What is this saying? Sorry, but there's not really much to talk about right now. It's just they're on commercial somehow. Uh, yeah, so there's just guys in my Discord right now. They're just talking about some of the picks, and uh, we're waiting on Detroit because apparently they don't want to come back from commercial. They don't want to come back from commercial with this pick, so yeah. Okay, the Red Wings are finally... Finally on the clock. They've got... Oh my god, they still have two minutes left. Jesus Christ. Toronto and Ottawa. One of those teams could pick him. I, I'd see it being Ottawa, more than likely. Have a shot at Bonk. Yes, they do. I think every team from here on out obviously has, has a shot at Bonk. Uh, so yeah, there's been no trades. I, I'm very surprised. The pick is in. Already. I feel like there's a trade coming. There's, like... It's this quickly in. There's a pick. They're not moving. We have a trade to announce. Wait. They're saying the pick is in. They're trying. They're saying the the pick is in. And the Red Wings aren't moving. So I think there's a trade. I think this trade I think this pick is getting moved again. What's going on? Okay, I think they're going up. ESPN still has this fucking stupid Philip Ronak trade on my screen. Okay, they are going up. Okay, they are going up, unfortunately. It was so fucking delayed and I think the pick is in thing came up a bit earlier than uh, than expected. But, uh, but yeah, no, the Red Wings will unfortunately make this pick. They are not going to trade it off as fun as that would be. Um, they are going to make this one. 
We'll see who they go. I I would be expecting maybe Axel Sandin Pelika, honestly here. Honestly here. This is who I would be expecting. Batman shaking hands with everyone. We're still waiting on a trade. Something tells me we're not gonna get one tonight though. They like European players, that's why they would go Axel Sandin Pelika, cat. We'll see who ends up being the pick. Let's find out. All right. The pick is indeed in. Iserman is thanking the fans back in Little Caesars. Black Hole Sun. I wouldn't say the Habs pick is looking crazier by the minute. I would argue that uh, it's actually looking slightly sane because of how bad some of these picks are. Arizona, Vancouver. Yep, there we go. Axel Sandin Pelica called it. Axel Sandin Pelica is is the pick to Detroit. Jets are now on the clock. Here you go, boys. Axel Sandin uh, Pelica to the Detroit Red Wings. Gabriel Perot. Admittedly, I'm kind of surprised he's still up. Would not be surprised to see the Jets go go take a chance on him. Would not be surprised. And, uh, yeah, so Axel Sandin Pelika, unfortunately, will join the most overrated prospect pool in the National Hockey League. Um, I like Axel Sandin Pelika enough. <laughs> he's going to be a half-decent top four D-man, but he's not going to be amazing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, biggest riser for this draft absolutely has to be uh, Dmitry Simashev going sixth overall. Genuinely surprised they did that overtaking Ryan Leonard, or you know, if they wanted a left-handed defenseman, like sure he was the first one available, but like trade back. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Yeah, we're getting some guys that are falling. They're saying the best defenseman in the draft skill wise. Um I would disagree. For me, I, I think uh even as much as I didn't want him, I do think Rhinebacker and Willander actually have a little bit more skill. In terms of offense, say Axel Sandin Pelika might have the best, but if we're going off overall like game, I would probably say Rhinebacker and, and Willander both the same. Yeah. Um so Iserman uh, Willander rose to rose too high. Nucks are stupid, dumb. Yes, they are. Block hole son. I, I, I would agree with that. I think Willander is going to be okay, but I don't think he's going to be worth that eleventh overall pick or wherever they uh, they picked him at. I, I don't think he is personally. Yeah. So uh, Axel Sandin Pelica. He apparently had a uh, two. Oh, he had two goals, nine, uh, nine, uh, nine assists in seven games and. Some tournament. They didn't tell me what. I assume that's probably the World Juniors, I would think. Um, so, yeah, apparently Axel Sandin can grow in his defensive zone. He's got good poise with the puck, skating ability, and puck movement, which makes me very surprised that they picked him because they're not known for picking guys who have actual offense. Um, yeah. Gotta take Flash on the first pick. I wouldn't even argue you gotta take Flash. I think just taking the best player available is the smart move. And obviously, he was not the best player available. Exactly. Kind of just draft goal score. Not, not necessarily even goal scores, like I said. Just best player available. Best best, uh, best player available. That was not David Reinbacker at five. It's not Axel Sandin Pelico right now. Jets are on the clock, by the way. Um, Jets are on the clock. We'll see what happens here. Um, I'm surprised you're not getting any updates from Twitter right now. There we go. Okay, now we're getting some updates from Twitter. So, yeah, this Axel Sandin Pelica. Uh, we've had teams tweeting out their top prospects saying, like, hello and all that so far. Um, yeah. 
Uh, we've got some stuff going on. We'll see if there's any trades that happen. Jets pick is in already. Jets pick is in. I hope you're not mad. No, Cal. Why the hell? Why the fuck would I be mad at you? Why would I be mad at you? Um. So yeah, the Jets. It says the pick is in, but they're not moving. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a um. Alright guys, so Eric Ingles. No, no. Cat, I'm fine. Don't worry. Um, so coming up per Eric Ingles, uh, uh, actually this came out I think right after the pick. I didn't notice this. Rhinebacker told uh, Sportsnet he's got one more year of school and work left before he can come over. And I'm perfectly fine with that, honestly. If he wants to work and, and school and then come over, I'm absolutely fine with that. I'm, I'm completely... Um, I'm completely fine with that, honestly. I actually really, really like that. So the Jets, if I'm being honest, I think Gabriel Perot here. I feel like they need a right winger, especially after losing Blake Wheeler, Pierre-Luc Dubois. I know, I know Dubois and I think Wheeler are both centers, but still, uh, I feel like they have good centermen. I think winger winger or defense, but I don't know if they go Mikhail uh, Gul Guliev. I don't know if they want to go him right now. We'll see, but I, I would probably think that Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Perot is the pick. Maybe Oliver Moore, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they have. We got other defensemen and we're fine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. We are. We are. So, there we go. 18th overall, who are the Jets going to pick? The selection is in. So, we'll see what happens here. Kevin Cheveldayoff is the first general manager to thank the city of Nashville. That's a first. Um, uh, the inhabitant, the inhabitant is done. Colby Barlow, Colby Barlow. Okay, there we go. So Colby Barlow is the selection. I'm not a fan of the pick. I, I can't say I'm a fan of the pick. With Gabriel Perot and Moore still on the board. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think this is a good pick right here. I, I'm not I'm not happy with the with the uh, Colby Barlow pick for Winnipeg. Not great. Alright, so the Jets with Reinbacher. We've got one person left on the stream. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll stick around till uh, pick 20, and then we'll leave. There's only one person watching right now, so yeah. Uh, it's not worth to keep streaming if we're not going to have many people that are coming around for the draft and talking and whatever. So yeah, like I said, we'll stick around for pick 20, I think. Probably... Um, Oh my god, yeah, Kobe Barlow looks fucking 30. Kobe Barlow looks like Tom Wolf, looks like uh, Tyler Boucher. Uh. Yeah, so um, Kobe Barlow was fifth in the OHL in, with 46 goals. Kobe Barlow looks 30 years old. <laughs> so, so one of my Discord just pointed out that, yo, he, uh, that Kobe Barlow does look like Tyler Boucher. <laughs> I'm happy that I was right. And, uh, yeah, so like I said, boys, we'll stick around for the last two picks, 19 and 20. Then we'll head out. So by then, it will probably be a three-hour stream. I think that's more than fair. Blackhawks are on the clock after the pick, which means I'm going to eat. No, I'm not going to. Don't worry, I'm not going to eat. But yeah.
So we've got this coming up. Jets just replaced. Uh, yes, they did. They did just replace uh, Dubois, probably. They probably did just replace, uh, yeah, PLD, uh, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois. They did just uh, replace Pierre-Luc Dubois with, um, they, they just replaced Pierre-Luc Dubois with Colby Barlow. Don't know if he's going to be as good as Pierre-Luc Dubois, but I, I do. Um, but I don't really care for the pick. Like, I think if he can be a decent 50, 60 point guy, that might make the pick worth it. But given all the talent that's left, I'm not sure how I feel about him, honestly. Uh, but yeah, see so yeah, guys, uh, we are across two hours and 45 minutes now. There is still nothing. <laughs> there is still nothing to, um, there is still nothing to suggest that we're going to get a trade right now. There is absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> there is nothing. I, I, I'm incredibly surprised that um that that we have not made that there's been zero deals overall i'm very very surprised there's been nothing with um yeah i i can't believe that we've had nothing to go with um to to to, to have in terms of trades really really surprised Dry country, pretty much. Colby Barlow is apparently a uh, big, talented winger. Scored at a strong rate in the OHL. Um, yeah, this is apparently a really, really strong draft because some rando uh, had him at 17th and he went 18th or the opposite or whatever. What's his dude's name again? Top Down Hockey. Yeah, I will, I will give him a follow just so I can get his, like, Predictions and shit on NHLers and why not. We're back and the Blackhawks pick is in. My brother's a 50 acre farm in Alberta. Oh shit, nice, uh, nice black hole. That's pretty sick, man. Let's go. Uh, yeah, the Blackhawks are here. Uh, up still. They still have this. They have this pick, by the way, per the uh, Brendan Hagel trade. Per the Brendan Hagel trade. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens with this. Um, Still on the board is Andrew Crystal, Gabriel Perot, Oliver Moore, Colby Barlow did just go, Quentin Musty, um, Edward Sal, Oliver Bonk. There's a bunch of really solid players still here. I'm going to be interested to see who they go with. Well, we're going to find out in just a minute. Oliver Moore, there we go. That's a good pick. Oliver Moore goes to the Chicago Blackhawks. There we go. Oliver Moore, ranked 14th, goes 19th. Gabriel Perot. I, I'm genuinely very, very surprised. Gabriel Perot is still here. If Seattle doesn't pick him... I don't know what they're doing. My bros girl don't like me though. Oh shit, black hole. That sucks, man. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. But yeah, so Oliver Moore, he's up here waiting on Seattle. And then like I said, we're going to get off after that pick. Uh, Chicago though. I like the pick. Oliver Moore, I see him being a real good uh, top six center in the National Hockey League. Going to be pretty good. Oliver Moore. 
Uh, nice fan of the pick, honestly. Big fan of the pick. That's really all I can say. So apparently we, we've had the Blues on the phone. We had the Ducks on the phone earlier. And, um... Yeah. I'm looking on Twitter. There's still nothing from any insiders regarding um, any, like, trades. So there, Moore's finally, he's up on the podium. He's shaking all the hands. He's about to get his jersey. Surprise Seattle is not, uh, <sighs> surprise not on the clock yet, honestly. It's getting dark out, boys. So, yeah, this is fun. There we go. Oliver Moore is putting on the jersey. Looks nice. Nico Backlund, like my comment, I was supposed to. Oh, shit, nice, NZA. What did, uh, what did you say? What'd you say on his uh, Instagram? So yeah, again, like I said, boys, we're just waiting on the um, Seattle pick, and then we're gonna head out for the nights. Uh, they're highlighting Oliver Moore. It seems like he's a good. Uh, half a decent goal scorer. So happy for you, Mikael. You deserve you deserve more than anyone else. Oh, on his uh, fucking award win or whatever the hell he won <laughs> that thing. Hey, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy that he uh, that he liked your comment. That's pretty fucking cool, man. So yeah, Oliver Moore seems pretty decent. Seattle is officially on the cock now. They are on thy clock. We'll see who they pick. Uh, yeah, so skating, dangerous on the rush, and he creates a dangerous chance, does all, chances does uh, Oliver Moore. So we'll see how good he can be in the National Hockey League eventually. I am curious to see um, just what we get out of him. And Chicago, I think should be happy with the draft. Bedard and Oliver Moore. Weirdly enough, I just realized that drafting two centers, I think he's going to be a pretty good second-line center behind Connor Bedard. Um... And again, we'll see what Chicago gets out of him, what they want out of him. And uh, yeah, like I said, Chicago fans should be incredibly happy with their draft so far before we even get to the second round. Um, yeah. And the pick is in. Seattle's pick is in. I really hope we get some type of trade tonight. That'd be really nice. We'll see, though. So Seattle, Gabriel Perot. I'm still surprised that the guy that this guy's up, uh, not taken yet. I really like Gabriel Perot and Quentin Musty. Uh, Edward Sal, Edward Sale is still up here. I'm surprised that he is still. Um, I'm not surprised he's not still up. I th I do think he goes in the later, uh, probably in the last ten picks of the, of the first round, but uh. But no, there's a couple guys like like I said, like Gabriel Perot. I'm very surprised he has not gone yet. Uh, Edward Sal, I'm out. I'm honestly kind of surprised he's not getting talked about a bit more, just because he seems like a guy that would get some some consideration. And I watch, I said, and he's gonna get picked here by Seattle. Um, I don't know. I feel like they would be the type to go Gabriel Perot, but I don't know if they have the type of team that would go for a French guy like that, or at least a French sounding name. If I were to guess, um. Quinn Musty. I don't know why. I feel I feel like Quinn Musty is a good fit here. I think Quinn Musty is quite a good match for the Seattle Kraken. Here at number twenty, Duddy. I'm so pissed we didn't take Mitchkov, but I think David definitely is a safe pick. I think David Dvorsky, uh, probably one or two others on the list right here, probably would have been safe picks. Uh, I definitely want Mitchkov though. Ooh, I, I I definitely wanted uh, Matvey Mitchkov. Absolutely, I I would have preferred him. But, uh, but you know, I, I think looking back at it now, I'm actually fine with the Ryan Backer pick. I'm fine with it. There's no guarantee that Michkov comes over to the NHL. He said that he does, but there's no guarantees. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So the pick is in. 
We'll see who the Seattle Kraken pick 20th overall. There we go, Edward. <laughs> Guys, did I say it or did I say it? Edward Sala. There we go. There it goes. Edward Sala. Edward Sala goes to the Seattle Kraken. Boys, what did I say? Clip that from me. Someone fucking clip that. Someone asks, I don't know. Someone says, I don't know what I'm talking about. Motherfucker, I predicted like 12 right picks today. Yeah, so Edward Sal. Edward Sale is a pretty good pick. I'm happy with that one. And uh, yeah, apparently NHL Network now has some live streams going on on the site I'm using. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Edward Sale or Sale. Love the kid. I think he's going to be a great, great second line forward in the National Hockey League. If the Canadians kept 31 and he was somehow still there, would have loved to grab him. But uh, I think Seattle's going to be a great, great fit for the kid. Really like Edward Saleh. Uh Despite the fact that I don't know how to pronounce his name still, uh, but I think he's going to be really solid and just big fan of this kid's game. Uh, really happy with him. And uh, again, yeah, I think he's going to be pretty solid. I think he's going to be really good. Yeah. His role model is Jonathan Huberto, and he's good at tennis, apparently. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to... Actually, no. Uh, we'll see if pick 21 happens before the three-hour mark. I want to hit a three-hour stream and then leave. So, I thought the Seattle, crack was, the Seattle pick was going to take a couple more minutes. But um, we'll see how long it takes. Maybe we'll get to the Minnesota pick and then we'll end the stream. I don't know. Knowing me, the sooner I end the stream... <sighs> The, the, the sooner we end the stream, the closer we are to getting a trade, probably. As soon as I go live, or as soon as I end the stream, oh, we got a trade to announce, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so the Wild are on the clock now. The Wild are up. They are going to be selecting someone really soon. We'll see who they pick. Um, I don't know. If I'm being honest, well, firstly, I should cross Edward Saleh off of my uh, to draft list. I feel like there's one other person I gotta take off, but no, there's not. I don't know why, but Minnesota, I could see David Edstrom. I don't know why, but I could see David Edstrom, either Edstrom or, um, I don't know why, but Lucas Dragasevic. Lucas Dragasevic ranked 33rd. I could see them picking up him to, to compliment their, um, to uh to, to to compliment their their blue line, I think. I think either that could uh, either pick could work. I think Edstrom being a center, I think helps them and blue liner and uh and uh Drago Savage could uh, could also fit. I'm fine with both of them. Yeah, Edward Sal has a 77% projected chance of becoming an NHL or only 29 to becoming a star. Um yeah, like Patrick Bacon ju just tweeted out top remaining forwards are still Gabe Perot. Uh, Andrew Crystal and Quentin Musty, the remaining defensemen are Lucas Dra Dragasevich, Lucas uh, Cagnoni, and uh, Mikhail uh, Galiev. So Gabe Perot has fallen a good bit, uh, a good bit from where he was projecting, where I even expected him to go. The pick for the Wilds already in. It's already in. The Wilds pick is in. So uh, interesting. Let's uh, let's find out who the Wild pick. Um, this is going to be fun. I'm excited to see, um, to see who they, uh, to see who they select. To see who they select. Like I said, I think I, uh, I'm probably going to have to go for them picking, uh, either David Edstrom or, uh, Lucas Dra Drag, Dragasevic, Drag, Dragasevic. Uh, it's saying that the pick is in, but they're not moving yet, so I think it's definitely a... It's a jumping the gun thing, I think, is on ESPN is what they're doing. I'd go to Sportsnet, but they're like a, an additional minute behind, unfortunately. And, yep, there we go. So they're going to get up. So they are going to make the pick. Uh, so yeah, I'm so glad we didn't take, oh, I'm so pissed, I'm stupid. All 
All right, so yeah, the pick is in. They're coming up. They're going to make it. And uh, yeah, I think after this one, we will. The pick might actually come exactly at three hours, so that's going to be fun. Um, Bill Guerin towers over Gary Bettman. Holy shit. Um, yeah, we'll see who comes up, makes the pick. The pick is in. Um, probably going to head out, like I said, after this uh, pick. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just like keep the stream going. And just, like, update it. Like, oh, the pick is in. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Maybe I'll do something like that. I doubt it, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, just might not interact or whatever. Just have, like, text or whatever. I think I kind of want to try that, actually. I think I kind of want to try that. Having, like, oh, the pick is in on the clock or whatever. I think I want to. I think, I, I think I'm going to try that for the last little while of the stream. For the last bit of the first round. And uh, and we'll see how that goes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the webcam off after this pick. And, uh, yeah, so like I said, I'm just going to do the uh, on-the-clock, blah, 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 that thing. So, yeah. So, Nashville's kept them well-hydrated, well-entertained. So, they got strippers in Minnesota. Wow. Charlie Stremel is the pick. I probably could have been doing this the whole time as on the clock, on the clock, on the clock, blah, blah, blah. But Charlie Stremmel is the pick. I, admittedly, I'm very surprised by that. I would not have expected Charlie Stremmel to go until the second round. I would not have expected that. That's, that's really surprising. Yeah, guys, so that is going to do it for my section of the stream like i said what i'm gonna do is for the rest of the first round i'm going to keep the stream up but i'm gonna do what i'm doing with the philadelphia pick is just mark on the clock pick is in pick traded and if we do have a trade i will come up and help announce the trade along with whenever gary bettman does it for example i will talk trades and then after the first round i'll come back up and i'll end the stream properly so yeah i'm going to back the mic away and like I said, I'm going to just on the clock, blah, 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 blah. So we're going to do that. If you guys want to stick in and find out the draft results there, please feel free to stick. If you don't want to, no problem. Don't worry about it, my guy. Uh, the Rangers, I predict, are going to quit, pick Quentin Musty, the Flyers. I could see Perot actually being here. I think Perot would be a pretty decent pick for the Flyers. But we'll see. Thank you guys uh, for coming into my portion of the stream. If you keep watching, much appreciated. I'll be back uh, hopefully for a trade. If not, whenever. Thank you, guys. Uh, enjoy yourselves. I'll see if I can uh, figure this out. <laughs> I'll see if I can sort this in a not better way, but I'll see if I can do this some other way. We'll see. Thank you, guys. I might put on some background music, actually. Real quick. I'm not. I'm going to keep the webcam off, but I'm going to talk for another minute. I think I might have... Um, I don't think I do, actually, but if I have background music, I'll like, put it on for you guys. Uh, okay, I have to download it really quickly. <laughs> Alright guys, so I didn't think of this, but I will I will get some music so it's not just oh completely silent stream, blah 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 blah. Um Oh god, what do I uh royalty free background music. Inspirational, no, I just want Okay, I don't want to download twelve hours. Holy shit. Give me Give me like I don't know, an hour. Give me an hour, because I'm I'm sure these picks are gonna take like an hour. I don't want 12 hours. Two hours of copyright free background music? Fuck it, why not? I'll just download this. I'll see how long it takes. I really hope it's not a long time, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to download some background music for you guys. I'm really sorry. Okay, 163 megabytes, that's actually a lot better than I expected it to be. Uh, but yeah, the pick is in. Not the pick is in. The pick is coming up. We will find out what happens. I guarantee I'm going to do all this. I'm going to go through all this effort. I'm going to go through all this effort to talk about the, the, the draft. Uh, or to uh, to set all this up, get the background music, whatever. And this is going to be like, oh, we have a trade to announce. Um, yeah. All right, so yeah, guys. Like I said, we are. Uh, I'm going to 
<laughs> once this downloads, it's uh, it's still taking a little bit of time. Once it finishes downloading, I will. Uh, actually, I should probably see if I can uh, have an audio source. I really hope I can just have an audio source. Application audio captured? No. Um, no, not widgets. Does it really have to be? Wait, application audio capture. Capture the audio coming from a specific. Oh, okay. So this is window. Oh, okay. This is going to be fun. Okay. Let me see if I can work with that in a minute. Okay. I'll download this and I'll play it via like VLC or something like that. I don't know. We'll do something like that. We'll, okay. We got no one, nobody watching. So I doubt anybody's going to come by for this, but whatever. Might as well. Why not? Oh, the pick is in for the Flyers. The pick is in. So I, I got to... So the pick is in. I will get to downloading. Oh, my God. So they got this trade from the Ivan Provorov deal. Uh, that three-way insane trade that they made. So, yeah. So I will download the two hours of background music. We'll see how long this takes. It's gonna take six minutes apparently. It's it's not. It's gonna take like maybe a minute, <laughs> probably. But yeah, guys, I'm assuming you guys can still hear me. I hope so. Um, pick us in. I'm gonna say Perot. I'm gonna say Perot. Maybe I'll give predictions. I doubt it, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe that's what I'll do. Danny Briere is back up to the podium. Oliver Bonk. Wow, so Radic Bonk, that's the pick. Radic Bonk, son Oliver, has been so fucked. Has been, has been <laughs> he's been selected. Um yeah, but I'm sorry. It's gonna look weird for a second. Don't worry. It's it's gonna look fine in a minute. I I just I'm I'm fixing this. Uh, is this it? Okay, this is it. Yeah. Wait. Fuck. Okay. So done. Yeah. So Reddick Bonk goes to the Philadelphia Flyers. Um. Wait. What? Okay. Wait. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. So yeah, the top I want. 220, 210. There we go. And then left, I'll get that as a. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure this out right now. 450, 400, 425, 420. There we go. I think that's fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is actually. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? fuck is going on okay sorry guys now the top now the bottom two picks are all cut off i'm sorry guys i'm trying to i'm trying to get this set back up i don't know what to do yeah so oliver bonk is the pick that's a really nice one i like that for the flyers all right There we go. There we go. So I got that all situated now. Oh, shit. Sorry, boys. All right. On the clock. There we go. So the Rangers are now on the clock. I will move everything accordingly. But, oh. <laughs> Hi. All right. Uh, yeah, what do I have to move aside from really, like, the draft logo? Like, all I got to do is just uh, make this a little bit bigger. There we go, boys. There we go. I think that looks actually pretty clean. Actually, what I'll do is I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna make it a little bit big, a little bit smaller. Uh, uh, there we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move the alert box up here. You guys can't see it, but I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger too. There we go. Now we're good. All right, so the Rangers are on the clock. They've been on the clock for about 239. 
This file still is not finished downloading, by the way. This is slightly scaring me, but we'll see what goes on. I'm really wondering when we're going to get our first trade. Um, if I'm being honest, I could see the Rangers trading this pick just because, uh, just because they're they're kind of known for not really drafting in the late first round. I think so. I, I I could see them trading this pick. If you ask me as well, um, maybe Oliver bon Oliver Bonk is um, Oliver Bonk is now off the board. Um. I don't. I can see Andrew Crystal. I think it's got to be Andrew Crystal. The this pick here, Charlie Stremel. I'm still surprised about that Charlie Stremel pick, by the way. Um, yeah, if I'm being honest, either uh, Gabriel Perot, either Gabriel Perot or Andrew Crystal, in my opinion, is going to be the pick. The Rangers have 11 million in cap space for Patrick Kane, Tarasenko, Halak, Tyler Mott, Alexis Lafreniere, and Andre Miller. That's going to be kind of fucked. They have to look to trade somebody, and the Rangers pick is in. Yeah, so the uh, the pick is in. We'll see what it is. I'm hoping that it's uh, Andrew Crystal or... Who the fuck else did I say? It was uh, Andrew Crystal or Quinton Musty, I think I said. Those are who I, I think the pick is uh, going to be, probably. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to talk just until the end of this Rangers pick, and then I'll put on the royalty free music just because it's, it's still downloading, guys. I'm sorry. I, uh, yeah. All right. So the Rangers going up to the podium. Going up to the podium. They're going to make their pick in a minute. And uh, we'll see what goes on. They got some fan, some poor kids wearing some Rangers jerseys. I don't think they know what kind of hate crime they're committing. Damn, that's actually pretty good, actually. I'm listening to the stream on my phone for a second. Uh, stream doesn't sound amazing, but um, it's very, very low latency. I'm like three seconds off what I'm actually saying. So yeah, we're going to get Chris Drury coming up to the board. Pick is in for the New York Rangers. There you go, Gabriel Perot. He is finally taken. Gabriel Perot is up. He has been picked by the New York Rangers. So dude was ranked 13th overall. And he ends up getting picked 23. That's a really, really solid pick there for the uh, for the New York Rangers, if you ask me. Open with the LC Media Player. All right, guys. So I'm going to get the app, uh, the application audio capture up now is it really there's no way is it really not gonna let me okay let me let me try this again boys if this isn't working enough to capture off the app I'm gonna be really depressed all right window wait what no donation goal donation goal doesn't speak okay there we go window Mike oh VLC there we go okay VLC uh there we go, boys. I'm going to turn the audio down to about 60, 60-ish percent. Now, let me see how this sounds, boys. All right, guys. So, we've got the... Um... So yeah, boys. We got the uh, we got the music going now. I'm going to see if... Uh... Can you guys hear now? Okay, there we go. You guys can hear it now. You guys can hear it. Can you guys hear it? All right, perfect. That's actually perfect. I'm going to turn that down to 65. Boys, I'm going to head out now. I'm going to turn the mic off. You guys enjoy the rest of the first round of the draft. I might be back tomorrow to discuss some picks. We'll see what's going on. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon.
Hey Bob, how's it going, man? I uh, I'm not on stream because uh, I was only gonna go for the first half of the draft, and then uh, I ended up going for 21. And uh, I'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm working on uh, other other stuff right now. I figured I'd keep the stream up and at least just update it. So <laughs> yeah, I I'm here. I'm just not here. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad you. I'm glad you could. Uh, you could figure that out. <laughs> thank you. Um, Bob, when I first saw the pick, what, uh, Rhinebacker, I was very, very pissed off. I really, really wanted Matvey Michkov. Um, but looking back, it's not a terrible pick. I'm actually happy with the pick. I really like, uh, Rhinebacker's defense from what I've, from what I've seen of it. His offense can, can improve a little bit, but he does seem like a very, very solid transition guy. Very good on the blue line, uh, on the back end. Very solid. Um, two-way type of player. I think he can fit in the top four nicely. A lot of people have been saying he's the perfect um, compar comparison or comp perfect comparison, the uh, perfect like companion to Lane Hudson on a blue line together. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm hoping he plays good. He is going back to the SHL, I think it is this year. So I'm not s incredibly thrilled with the pick. I will trust the process and I will say um, that we could have done a lot worse. We could have picked Whoever the goddamn Coyotes picked at number six, we could have done so much worse. Could have done a little better, but I, I'm 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 all right with the pick now. I think. Ask me tomorrow if I stream, and I, I'll probably say that I'm happy. But right now, I'm I'm content with it. I'm okay with the pick. No, 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 Bob. Don't worry. Don't worry about bugging me, man. It's it's all good, man. Don't worry. You're not you're not bugging me at all. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that a lot, though. Uh, see you on the next stream for sure, man. Keep your stick on the ice, too, man. Thank you for coming by, Bob. Appreciate it a lot. Alright boys, the Blackhawks are apparently trying to trade into the first round. The Blues are up and they are making their pick.
Hey, Julian. I'm just popping back in to say, I don't think Michikov is a cancer in the locker room. It's more than likely that, um, it's more than likely that he's just Russian, so people didn't like him for that.
everybody, that is going to do it for today's stream. I know I wasn't here for the last hour, I apologize. Uh, but I figured it was at least okay, <laughs> understandable, given I did three, excuse me, three hours by myself. Um, yeah, guys, that is again going to do it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget, please, to like, comment, subscribe, favorite channel, please. But it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, channel, else. My name is Chris. Subscribe to join the Puff Club, the Hate Club, Sub Hub, D Nation, and a member. If you're a member of the Puff Club, the way you comment on the stream channel is much greatly appreciated. Links in the description are the Amazon, which is the PO Box, the PayPal, the Discord, uh, the, the Streamlabs, the PayPal, the Discord, and Twitch, the Letterbox, the Twitter account are all down there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Four goddamn hours long. That was really fun. Luca, I agree. Fuck Philadelphia. Uh, they picked uh, Matvey Michkov. I agree. Um, hell yeah. Yay, fuck, fuck Philadelphia. That's where we're going to leave. Uh, that's where we're going to leave the note on. Bedard, Carlson, Fantilli falls to three. Will Smith, Reinbacker, Simashev with a shocker of a pick. Michkov unfortunately falls to the Flyers. Um, Ryan Leonard, Nate Daniel said the Red Wings continue to... Continuing to um, disappoint their fan base with really bad picks. Dal Bordavorsky, Tom Willander, Daniil Boot. Really like that pick. Zach Benson, uh, Braden Yeager, Matthew Wood, Samuel Hansel, Axel, Sandine Pelican, um, Colby Barlow, Oliver Moore, Edward Saleh, uh, Charlie Strommel, Oliver Bond, Gabriel Perot, uh, Tanner Molendyke, uh, Otto S uh, Stenberg, Quinton Musty. Callum Ritchie, Easton Cowan, Theo Lindstrom, Bradley Nadeau, uh, Mikhail Galeyev, and David Edstrom all picked in the first round. That is, again, going to do it for today's stream, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. No matter how bad we were last year, how much better we'll be this year. Uh, go heads, go baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Trust the process of this fucking genius ball bastard. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. My name is Harris again, and I am out. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's go, baby. <laughs>